poggers, dude. Oh shit, I'm not meant to be- I'm meant to be muted! What's up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Miracle Poland live stream. Poland again? Well, I love Poland, okay? And I want to learn everything there is to do with Poland. So that's what we're doing today. We're on day four. Of the Poland live streams. Day four. Day one was learning how to play Poland. Day two was playing Relic Poland. Day three, we play Domination Poland. Day four, today, we're going to play Miracle Poland. Miracle Poland. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about Miracle Poland here in a second. But there will probably be another live stream. Might not be tomorrow. It might be the day after. Who knows what day it'll be. But where we will, we will be playing Generic Poland. This is the backup beta build, but it's still a really strong build um, because Fate Civs are just crazy good and Poland's a Fate Civ and they're the best. Right. Uh, so. Are you getting an increase in Eastern European viewers? Probably. But I think more importantly, I'm having an increase in my own understanding and fun with the game by playing the same Civ over and over. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a better idea of how to use them, how to use their abilities, how to play them, what way they should be manipulated and used in particular ways and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, if I was trying to appeal to the Polish fantasy, I mean, I feel like my thumbnails have progressively, like if we look through the progression of thumbnails in these streams, it has gotten better every single time. <clears throat> so... This is Miracle Poland. What is Miracle Poland? Well, let me make sure I don't have crazy mods installed. All right, I think it's just my UI mods. I should say, I need to like delete some of these. Potatoes. PLM 10.00, thanks, potato. Um, Poland loves you back. <laughs> Uh, 
basic UI mods only. That's what we're playing with today, I think. Yeah. Okay, so what is Miracle Poland? Well, Miracle Poland is a very, very simple build. Basically, it's you're just playing Poland, but you're playing with the OP, mo OP game modes activated. <laughs> <laughs> where you're playing with um, Heroes of Legends and Secret Societies. These two game modes make Poland, as far as I'm concerned, like a broken sieve. Um, and we'll get to see why. Uh, we will be playing on online speed because I believe the game is more balanced on online speed. We'll be playing as Jadwiga. We will be playing on a small map size. Abundant resources is fun. New world age. Wet rainfall. And then there was another one that I am forgetting. Absolutely loving that you're showing off four different Poland bills in four days. Please keep doing these with different sieves too. All hail daddy potato. Well, the problem is um, most sieves actually only have like two builds. Poland is kind of an interesting one in that they have more than more than two. Most sieves have like the intended way they were meant to be played and then the generic way that you can play them. So. Nine dollars. And 99 cents absolutely loving that you are showing four different Poland builds in four days. Please keep doing these with different sieves too. Oh, how daddy potato. Thank you, Wesley. Hey, potato, love your opinion. We're going to do like a five minute. We're going to we're going to hang out for like five minutes. So if you're watching the VOD, skip ahead. We're just going to talk to chat and take questions. I take the two built. Yeah, well, we, 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 we want to do that kind of thing. Uh, potato, love your opinion. What's the opinion on the release date of Civ 7? Will we see it soon or not? So I would give it like a... I'm going to give you like percentages. I would give you like maybe like a 1% chance that it releases in 2022. Give it like a 30% chance it releases in 2023. And then like a 90% chance it releases in 2024. And then a 100% chance if we do like a 99.999% .99 chance by 2025 that we get the next Civ game. Not necessarily Civ 7, but whatever Civ game is next. That's my... That's my prediction. Um, when did we get a definitive answer on Coupe left or Coupe right is supreme? Where do babies come from? That's a great question. You should talk to your uh, your spiritual leader about that. Hey, Potato, did you get a new graphics card yet? I have Ara made the one that I have. So perhaps we can get it replaced and then we can wait until the new cheap, new expensive graphics cards comes out and we can buy an even better one. Um, one plus 30%, plus 90%, plus 300%. Um, where is the winged Hussar potato avatar? Oh shoot, yeah, I meant to... I meant to make that into a, um... Emote. Um... Hold on, let me link this to Morbis. Um... I really think the next Civ game will not be Civ 7. I personally, I would put it like, I would be like 60 to 70% sure that the next Civ game is not Civ 7. It is something more like Beyond Earth. Something a little bit more experimental, uh, a midpoint game. Um, however, I do think that the new Frontier Pass could theoretically count as their experimental game. We could be going straight into Civ 7. Could you make the temperature cold so I can live out my fantasy? No. Uh, what save would you like to see that has been added in previous games? I'd obviously like to see Ireland. Um, I think there's a lot of really underserved civilizations as well. Like, for example, um, you know, the Goths. There's lots of, like, saves in, you know, Europe that necessarily haven't been put into the game before. There's, like small like Spanish tribes you've got like all those kind of things you've got um, places in Africa there's lots of African countries and saves that could be added there's lots of South American saves and countries that could still be added since I love watching your videos I have improved my own skills by listening to your tips my favorite saves channel cheers thank you so much gingerbread uh, for example I still think there's a lot of, like a lot of like indigenous cultures in South and North America that are underrepresented. There's probably a lot of countries in Asia that are underrepresented. I think one of the interesting things about um, the and this this was pointed out to me um, by someone else actually is that a lot of the cultures in America, the Americas, were from underrepresented cultures. They weren't actually country based. They were like folk heroes or legendary people or um, 
indigenous tribes rather than the actual, you know, you don't have Mexico, you have the Aztecs. You don't have Chile or you don't have Chile and all those other countries. You have like the Inca. You don't have, I don't remember where Lautaro came from, but you have, you know, the, the Mapuche. You have all these different countries. Central Asia is such a big blind spot for Civ, definitely. I think the problem with Central Asia is that it kind of all gets swept together. Central and Northern Asia just all kind of becomes like the horse peoples, the nomads. Um, I heard the Irish spike will be a world wonder in next Civ. I really hope not because it's absolutely not worth it. Mapuche is South Chile. Yeah, South Chile. Uh, that's what I like about humankind. We multiple cultures that were on the same territory, but in different time periods. That's kind of cool. I do like that. There's loads of historical South American Asian civs. There's a famous soccer team in Chile that's literally a Mapuche on the flag. Interesting. Will Israel ever come to the game? That's actually a really difficult question because like, do you do like modern Israel or do you do like the kingdom of Israel? Do you like which representation of Israel do you do? That's kind of a difficult question to answer. Um, um, and you would probably have like, I would imagine that would be a really interesting question to have with someone from Israel or at least is Jewish because they would probably have like really insightful things to say about that. Um, the Arctic is also not very represented. I mean, I would be down with an Inuit, an Inuit Civ. Um, Central Africa. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We've never had a Wales Civ. Stop calling them Eskimos. Sorry, Eskimos. Sorry, Inuit. It's uh, old habits die hard. My apologies. I didn't mean any... Uh, any, any insult there. My apologies. Um, could Palestine also be an exiv? You guys are just asking like the most controversial questions imaginable. I don't know. Is there... It, it would maybe be hard to do Palestine sensitively, sen sensitively because it's still a political hotspot and I think the developers prefer to shy away from those kind of extremely controversial things. I was talking to commenters, Potato. Oh, I thought I had called them Eskimos. My bad. Um, I'd probably split up Arabia. There's so many different Arabian caliphates. Yeah, you could do so many different like Islamic uh, civs too. You could do a lot of really cool stuff there. Uh, and not even just like focusing in around the Arabia era. There's so many cool Islamic cultures that you could do from like North Africa. You could also do uh, like, well, I guess Persia is technically in the game, but it's not the Islamic Persia. It's the classical Greco kind of Persia, I guess. But like even extending into India and like Stuff like that in all those uh, Southeast Asian countries. Would you ever do an A to Z challenge again? I think one day, probably, yeah, I think I will do an A to Z challenge as a goodbye to Civ 6 when Civ 7 or the next game eventually comes out, depending on whether or not we come back to Civ 6. Uh, Civ 4 had Mao Zedong and Stalin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, those were, th those were kind of decisions that they made without really, they weren't doing the level of analysis, cultural analysis that they're doing these days. What's with the Poland love? Three dedicated streams? Well, it'll be four to five. It's actually been four dedicated streams now. Uh, Civ. Would love to see Malta as a Civ. I don't know if Malta would uh, figure in. Uh, I was diagnosed with ADHD five years, 1.5 years ago, and I picked up Civ around the same time. I can genuinely say that Civ has learned me how to focus. It definitely helped me quite a bit on focusing. How do you feel about the Civ 6 art style? I personally don't like the cartoon style. I prefer a more serious look. I really do think that the art style is honestly just better. It's objectively better than Civ 5. It's objectively better than Civ 4 um, on a technical and graphical level. Um, and I really don't think you can really contest that. Like, if you... Potatoes. You can have a preference for something else, but I think it's a silly to... Uh, to not recognize that it's it has a certain appeal. Hey, Marbazir, thank you so much. Welcome back. I, it, it's funny, every time you've raided me, I've been playing Poland. <laughs> every single time. Um, I started with Civ 6, and I don't like how other Civ games look. Aren't most modern uh, Middle Eastern countries the result of Western powers drawing around borders? The elements are empires that develop naturally in the region. Any thoughts about doing, you know, I, I guess, technically, kind of, but still, I mean, there's still cultures in there that are worth representing. Oh, no. My Steam Deck. Um, will you do something like this for any other save? I mean, I might try do another save, but it's, it's honestly just down to how I felt. Feel I felt like doing Poland, so I did Poland. Uh, 
I really like how CF6 looks. They should really add an era before the ancient era that stretches back to the 8000 BC or, or further. I'm really surprised Morocco didn't come back for CF6, to be honest. I started it with Civ Revolution, the true cartoony Civ. Um, Poland of the best. I, 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 we're, we're in the waiting room. We're just waiting for people to filter in, join the stream so they can see the start of the game and be prepared. Uh, hi, Potato. Why do you earn 150 gold on the Gorgo game for Raided Barb Camp? I tried two, but I earned 90 gold on Marathon. That's a really good question. I don't know. Maybe there was a mod messing things up. I did have UI mods in. Were you were you raiding with barbarian clans on? How odd. Why was I getting 150 gold? <gasps> ah. I wasn't playing on Deity. You get less gold on Deity difficulty. You get more gold on lower difficulties. I think that's what it was. Uh, show the change in save ability description for Poland when you select and unselect hero mode. Sure. Holy sites gain standard faith adjacency from adjacent districts. I turn off Heroes and Legends and it's a major adjacency from adjacent encampments. Um, there you go. You weren't on Deity? Yeah, I think that's the answer. Give me a Finland Civ. Finland Civ would be really cool. Why so many Poland streams? Because I felt like it. Thoughts on winning a religious victory by spending religion using great people with the Vatican City. Yeah, seems really slow and weak and suboptimal. Got the day off today, wasn't sure what to do at the time. What do you guys think? Are we ready to start? Is there have enough people joined the stream? We got let's have a look, let's see the numbers. I, I I just don't want people to miss the start of the stream, because you blink and you'll miss this game. Like that's how good Miracle Poland is. More Q and Q? Okay, a little more questions. All right, we'll do another four or five minutes of questions and then we'll go. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Uh, do you have a list of the UI mods that you use? Yes, I believe it might be linked on Steam. Thank you for the Twitter okay, the sub. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Um, did people leave when you said five more minutes? You're at 400 plus. I mean, we, like, wait, that's their own loss. They're missing. Uh, okay, so I think now is about a good time. Anyway, let me, let me field a few questions. Um, I think the reason why they add more of it is they thought to save it first when they were ruler. Hey, guys, just so that, just so you know, there's a Twitch Prime button. Thank you so much for the Primes. Who will be the next Deep Dive Showcase? There's currently a poll on my YouTube. Um, well, it's not a poll. It's a post on my YouTube. If you go to my YouTube, youtube.com forward slash potato whiskey or whatever, and you go find my community post, I have a post up, and the most liked comment will form the poll that I will use to pick the next sieve for the deep dive. Um, you lose half a raid usually. Thank you, Marbazir, okay. for the raid. we got a hype train going, and we're not even starting, boys. Uh, Barb's can't capture a city. All right, I think we've been... Um, We've been warming up for a little bit of time. Let's get this bad boy on the road. Let me make sure I'm firing at all cylinders. Last questions. I'm taking two more questions from chat. What's your favorite sieve? Oh my God, why would you waste your last two questions on a question that I literally answer every day? It's Khmer, it's Khmer, Khmer. Have you set up the relic again? Um, uh, null and void question. Will you do a tier list of all the saves? I'm a walking tier list, okay? so. 
What the hell is Miracle Poland? Okay, so Miracle Poland is the intended way to play Poland, okay? Do you want to hear a, go a joke about ghosts? Okay, tell me your joke about ghosts, Jennifer. I want to I want to hear it. <clears throat> That's the spirit. Oh my God, Jesus! Somebody ban Jennifer. Somebody do it. I there's a modern chat banner. That's a weak ban right there. Okay. It looks like she didn't have a ghost of a chance. Okay, no, no puns are banned. Illegal. This is illegal. Stop. Okay, what is Miracle Poland? Let me explain what Miracle Poland is. Miracle Poland is something that was revealed to me in a dream. Okay? I made it up. So we have regular Poland. So we have generic Poland. This is where you go for high holy site adjacency and work ethic. And you try to just go for something other than religion, culture, uh, which are po and our domination. You can still go for domination, but you go for one of those three things, right? Um and then you have Relic Poland. This is where you go reliquaries, you go Mont Saint Michel, you try to get as many relics as possible, and you try to boost those relics. We did Relic Poland. And then you have Domination Poland, where you go for choral music and you try to do a Hussar timing attack. Works pretty well, does a lot of damage, snowballs to victory. I think we won the game in like 30 turns once we got Hussars. Um, now, this, okay, this is a very particular type of Poland. This is the Miracle Poland. This Poland can do everything. So, Miracle Poland. Um, is Poland at its transcendent angelic self, all right? Um, and the name comes from Miracle Rogue and Hearthstone, which comes from Magic the Gathering, Miracle Card decks. And I just thought it was really cool because it's all about re relics and heroes and holy sites. It'd be cool to call this build the Miracle Poland build. So it involves using... Thank you for the Twitch Primes. It involves using the game modes, Heroes of Legends and Secret Societies, to get insane relics on Poland super early into the game and go absolutely wild on Poland. Now, um, that will allow us to basically do anything, whatever we, we could win through whatever way we want to, we, like we'll literally be able to do anything we want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game. So I have my game set up here, DD difficulty, online speed, online because I think the game is more balanced on online speed in my opinion. Um, city states, it's, when I say balanced, it's slightly easier on online speed, but it's more the game is more interesting on online speed, in my opinion, because there's less waiting around. The total number of turns, like the number of actions you have to make to have a meaningful impact in the game is lower, which I think makes the game more interesting. And it makes you play the game at a really, really, really high level where you have to think about exact timings on things really quickly and you can actually be reactive. Um, so online game speed, Pangea, small, abundant new and wet world uh, and we're also going to be playing with heroes of legends and secret societies to maximize the amount of relics that we can get before we have mont saint michel now let's get started but can you play online speed without being online true you can make a standard unit tier list i could I tried Relic Tourism, I lost to Crystal Red and Tour, and I had to another hundred more turns to churn the W, Sag. I always play online, but I can't deal with the deity starting close to me. Any tips, guys? Just get good at, like, defending yourself from early war. That's all you really need to do, and you'll be fine. Okay. This is a very pog pull and start. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and say that we settle in place. So I think we settle in place. Um, probably the holy site is going like here. That's a plus four holy site. That's pretty good. Our build is going to be something like scout, scout, settler, holy site, project, project, monument, hero, and then hero in the second city as well. So it's going to be something to that effect. Our goal is to get a religion with reliquaries and a golden age. Um, now we can... The cool thing about Poland is you don't have to rush reliquaries because the AI doesn't usually take reliquaries. So you just have to get the Great Prophet. 
Uh, is the game easier in marathon in your opinion? I think the game is harder in some ways in marathon and easier in other ways. Um, whereas I feel like I feel I, I I just I feel like online is the most interesting balanced way to play the game. So we're going to settle in place. Now there is an argument here to be made about whether or not we work this tile or this tile. But honestly, shaving two turns off to get six less production or shaving a turn off of growth to get six less production doesn't seem really worth it to me. Now, one question that we could have is if we take the total amount of growth required, we need seven growth. So if we were to work a two food, two production tile for two turns and then work the three food tile, we could still grow in three turns. So we'll grow a turn faster. We'll only lose two production, but then we get an extra turn of having plus one population. So technically, that's actually, we come out as a wash, but we get plus one population a turn sooner. So I kind of like that. Um, immediately rush for astrology and we will go double scout. Marathon is easier if you can survive like the ancient and classical era. Okay, cool. That's great. We have found Maui. Now, Maui is going to have a big impact on our empire if we can get a hold of him. He ignores terrain movement penalties. He also creates lots of new resources. That could be quite powerful. We might be able to make use of him. We could also kill things with him. So we're just going to do a little loop with this guy. Um, I'll send you southeast because that seems to be the most thing. Now, one troubling thing is I have zero error score and I have not yet found a thingy. There is a tri city state here. There's Zanzibar, Al's Minerva. I really need to find Void Singers. It's kind of distressing me that I haven't yet. Um, yikes. Well, we're heavily surrounded by city-states, but that's not too bad. We did find Lahore first, and we did find Zanzibar first. I mean, the gold is going to be helpful. This gives me a little bit of extra production towards settlers. Lahore could be quite useful this game. The Nihangs are quite powerful units. It depends on whether or not we want to actually use them. Vatican City could be quite useful too. Um, all of these are quite good, but we do know that there's a save somewhere in this area. Okay, perfect. We also found King Arthur. That's really, really good. He could be potentially used to do a timing attack on our neighbors. Um, and we also found the Hermetic Order. I'm really, really disturbed that I have not yet found a tribal village. It's, uh, oh, for God's sake. Um, it's not good. Um, because unfortunately, this build... It kind of heavily depends on you getting Void Singer. Bro, where are the tribal villages? Actually, like, could, what? I'm getting screwed here. That is best. Okay, we found Oya. No Void Singers. Really, really bad. Mm, not good. Really, 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 really not good. Yeah, we need to find uh, huts to get the trigger for Void Singers or else we won't be able to get it until deep into the mid game. Like super deep, which is not good. And this is like whole build is like predicated on leveraging faith for yields. So not getting it is like really, 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 really bad. Holy site going up. Um, we always start with Pingala. Yeah, another desert pollen spot. Bro, I literally, I have found one tribal village. Look how much land I've revealed, dude. So unfortunately, I am kind of leaning towards a potential restart here. It like, eh. I mean, the miracle part of Miracle Poland doesn't matter until a little bit later in the game, but I don't know. There's the Ottomans. Bro, there's literally, like, they don't exist. Like, they actually don't, like... Um...
So do I settle on the ivory or do I settle adjacent to the ivory? If I'm thinking about this river, settling on ivory is quite good. However, so what I'm thinking is if I settle on the ivory here, hmm. Settling on the ivory has certain advantages. Whoever settling off of the ivory has better immediate tiles. Marsh has better inner rings. I'll agree with that. But that banana tile is real attractive. If I settle on the if I settle on the elephants, I could immediately buy the banana, have a three two tile. It's quite good. How far away should you settle a city? Generally speaking, three to four tiles away from all of your cities. You want them as close as reasonable. Okay, this needs to be Void Singers or I'm in bad shape. And um, so we got our holy site. Two holy site prayers into a monument is the build. Uh, let's have a look around. I would love to go Camp Pantheon in this game. There's like a decent number of them around. Um, but I don't think it really makes sense to do Camp Pantheon in this game. River Goddess is okay. But I want something that generates faith. Let me have a little think about this. Why Poland again? Why not? Don't ask dumb questions. <sighs> Sacred Path is decent. There's pretty good holy site locations with Sacred Path. Lady that reads in Marsh is also quite attractive here. Let's have a look. Marsh. One, two. Yeah, I mean, this is enough Marsh to make Lady the Reads in Marsh work, in my opinion. So we could maybe justify Lady the Reads in Marsh. Dance of the Aurora, Sacred Path, River Goddess, Monument to the Gods. I'm not going Fishboat Pantheon. Pasture Pantheon is okay. I've got two of those in my capital. It could work. Um, it's probably not that good to be honest with you. I'll probably be deleting them for districts later. I think I... These are pretty low production starts. So keeping Rainforest is... Being incentivized to keep Rainforest is probably good. What about the appeal one? I don't think my appeal is high enough. It's all very jungly. I'm leaning towards Lady of Reeds and Marshes. What do you mean by miracle? You can re <clears throat> Thank you for the membership. You can rewind the stream for what I mean by miracle, but, but it's basically Poland when you're playing with heroes and legends and sacred societies at the same time. D Divine Spark for the Prophet. Now we're projecting for the Prophet, so that shouldn't be a problem. I feel like production is king. This just... Here's the thing, we're going to have, all of our faith is going to come from our relics. So we don't really need high adjacency on our holy sites. So in my mind, extra production just improves the quality of our land and makes our life much smoother and easier to transition in and out of our build. I think I'm just going to take Lady of the Reeds and Marsh. In this particular situation, I just have so much Marsh around. Work ethic with it. We're not doing work ethic. We're doing reliquaries. This is a Poland, this is a miracle Poland build with guaranteed relics. Show us the appeal. I've already shown you the appeal. It's bad. Really bad. Really, really, really bad appeal. Except for over here. I have dollars and zero cents a chat. I have a challenge. I want to try to bully Potato to do a Civ Revolution stream. 
If you share my dream, please let him know. It's never happening. Okay, pottery. Settle. And this is an immediate monument game. How are we looking on the Great Prophets? Yep, we're ahead. Um, let's do animal husbandry. No, I don't know where this is going. It could go here. Yeah, that'll be fine. I want to be on Earth Stream. Now, that is more likely to happen. <gasps> incredible, incredible, incredible. We did it. Miracle Poland is activated. It's happening. Miracle Poland is active. Can confirm. Miracle Poland is a go. Uh, so I'm plugging in the discipline card to be able to kill this barb camp and then production just for the tiny bit of extra production. So my hope is that both of these city state units attack that barb camp and then I can clear it and take the error score. I would love that. I could theoretically, I wouldn't be able to get a unit there in time, unfortunately. Um, I could buy a trader. Um... That's actually planned. I think that's fine. Greetings. Honor to meet you. I would like to be friendly with her. Oh, she doesn't approve. All oh, right, I'm playing on a higher speed. I don't want to sell my elephants. I do want to buy this tile. I need to think about what I want to spend my gold on. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They're actually the same. I didn't even realize that. Um, here, though, I should totally buy tiles. Look at that tempo, dude. That's insane. So I'm going to let them attack again. I want to wait until they, like... I swear to God, if they double attack here, they take this from me. So I have to wait. I really need that error score, though. Uh, we get a whole, we get a religion in a couple turns. No religion is gone yet. In we need to start thinking about improving luxuries and stuff in the next era. We've got a lot of irrigation luxuries and mining luxuries, so that should be relatively easy. Um, there's nothing in here that we super need to beeline, so I'll just pick up text that I already have. I'm not worrying about the district discount mechanic. Okay, now I feel safe to attack. Now I feel safe. Now that that guy backed off. Yoink. Oh, we've discovered so many heroes. Now, I don't want to take Void Singers yet for a very particular reason. Because if I take Void Singers, um, it'll cancel the construction of these monuments. So I need to wait a few turns. But I can promote him with Connoisseur super early. You may need to explore towards the west side. I think I should be fine. Um, we're going to have so many relics, dude. Amazing. All right, we get this kill. Boom. And we have a guaranteed religion. Great profit. Should have a golden age secured. Recruit him. Um, do I found the religion now? Or do I wait? It's a lot of error score. Does the AI take reliquaries on Heroes and Legends? That's a, que uh, that's a question I don't have the answer to. So I'm going to just take it. Uh, Miracle Poland. Uh, with the peacock. Now let's do the scorpion. No, the lion. Reliquaries. And crusade. 
Uh, yeah. This is the way Poland was meant to be played, with reliquaries and crusade. So I'd love to recruit some of these guys. I think you can wait on recruiting these. We have our golden age, so I think we're going to wait on recruiting them. And just think about um, boosts, technology, improving. Like we could use some tile improvements here. There's a little bit of cattle, but it's not really that worth it. Why crusade though? Are we going to war? Hell yeah. It's Miracle Poland. Of course we're going to war. This is like meant to show off how insane Poland can be. Um, more faith would get me... I'm just trying to think through my decision here. If I go for more faith, this would be more faith I can spend on things in the next era. If I get a hero right now and delete him, I would get the relic immediately. Thoughts on the multiplayer scene? It's fun, it's really cool, and I'm excited to see it grow. So these heroes exist just to give me I don't want to recruit them until the next era is the problem. But I really want the relic. What do you guys think? Do you think I recruit the heroes and then delete them to get the relic? Or do you think I recruit them? I recruit two at the same time right at the start of the next era and use them to kill a city-state. Like... That's like in a position that I really want. Like Mogadishu over here. I could kill Mogadishu. It would kind of suck that I'm killing... Well, I don't want to kill trade or religion, city-states or Lahore. And my problem is I'm not really in an opportune place. So the best place to send them would be to England. I could kill Vatican. Because most of my faith is going to be coming... Vatican is still really good scaling is the problem. Recruiting second cities, always first. Yes, that's why I'm not recruiting at the capital. I'm just trying to think how badly do I want that relic. I think I want to do like a hero timing. So... I think I can just start settling. Do I want the shrine? Era score is more important than relics right now. I think so. We want to be able to go. We want to get at least two golden ages this game. I think maybe I recruit a hero that I don't care about and then delete them for the relic. Project for Herc. I don't have Hercules. I could do heroic tales and dig for Hercules. Use him to build three districts and then delete them. Relic is giga important. My thought was to get the relic right at the start of the next era. Hmm. It's hard to know. It's hard to know what the right choice is. I'm thinking about it. You need then you lose about 150 or faith or one settler. I think that's fine. I think that's fine if I lose a settler in the era. How long until era? It's really far away. Like ten turns away. Hippolyta converts the unit she kills. No, she doesn't. She... She automatically heals, has no movement penalty, and uh, makes units attack twice. You're thinking of the twins, yeah. 
I think what we do is we go for more settlers. God, it's so much faith, though. Let me think about it. What's the error score for recruiting a hero? Can we get a golden age without saving error score? I'm stuck, dude. I'm stuck. I, I, I am at paralysis because I wasn't expecting to have this much error score this early. I think we recruit a hero and we kill the whore with it. No, I want to recruit in the second city. Sorry. We recruit Mulan in Warsaw and we go to kill the whore. Wait, is it on freshwater? Oh shit, it's not on freshwater. Fuck. No, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna get more settlers. I think I think I think saving the error score is fine. Um, every settler I hired build is a settler I don't have to buy with faith, which I think makes up for the fact that I will not be doing it. So both monuments are finished. We can appoint void singers. Disgusting, amazing. Look at that faith gain already, stomping along. And um, let's buy another marsh tile to keep the city going. One turn Mulan. It's 24 faith per turn for a relic, though. That's the thing. I feel like I just recruit heroes and delete them. Yep, yep, yep. We're recruiting heroes and deleting them. Sorry. Um, but we do want to recruit heroes that we want to use later. Um... I've made up my mind. Miracle Poland is all about the relics. The heroes themselves are not important. We can get the heroes back later. Maui use charges and delete. Yeah, but if Maui uses up all my good tiles, then I don't care. What I will say is I will delete her. Here. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I just need to convert this city. Um... You um, <clears throat> why is it called Miracle po Poland? I already explained this like 400 times. Trader, heal, use of Maui and delete. I don't want to place resources on my tiles. Because if they turn out to be luxuries, then I can't build on them. Um, Hippolyta is like a really good one. I really like Beowulf though as well. So we'll do Beowulf. Wrote you a researcher. Our tempo is like actually insane. I need to stop scouting. Use them in the desert tiles you will settle. I could. Theoretically, you could do that. Um, there's a trader internal trade route to Krakow Krakow um, we want to go for the holy site if I'm thinking about this long term there'd probably be a government plaza here that means the holy site should go here um, and then like commercial hubs can go like here and here that's pretty decent. It's kind of the way to pay, play Poland, in my opinion. I'm, I also want to make theater squares. So that actually makes things a little bit more complicated. Because if I want to make theater squares, then I want to do something like Entertainment Complex, Coliseum. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I want to do Entertainment Complex, Coliseum. 
and then th do theater squares on either side of that um, which means my holy site will probably actually go here which means my government plaza will probably actually go here which means my commercial hub will actually go here and here like this so this is kind of like the configuration I'm looking at I know I'm killing a marsh tile which sucks but that's fine But imagine the yields now we would make. I, yeah, it's, it's not my priority. In a different game, maybe. And this, unfortunately, tells me that I need to get bronze working. Use Maui on the tiles you want to settle? It's not a bad idea. But I would rather have heroes that I can use when I eventually do my timing attack. Miracle Poland. Um, Alright, so autocracy, classical republic, or oligarchy. Definitely feels like an autocracy game. If I'm going to be building wonders, which I will be. Um, I could just use the extra gold, that's fine. Oh shit. Shit! I'm burning Aeroscore doing this. Okay, I think I think we might be able to get enough error score here. Is corporation mode on too? No. I don't underrate them. I like to say I hold on to envoys for suzerainty. The quests I get next era are going to be really important, actually. Is the so yeah, there's Beowulf. <laughs> 12 fate, 18 culture, or 18 tourism, beautiful. Um, so... So I need to get irrigation. Unfortunately, I do have to crush that. Is this the best tile for this? I think this is. This is just like the best configuration that I can find. I'll take a uh, time to get a shrine. I mean. <sighs> it's hard to pass this up. There's a decent amount of marsh. I'm, I'm killing two marsh. Yeah, let's go for Edom and Anki. I like it as a move. Bro, he's standing in my way. Bro, move, please. Actually move. Unlock theater squares. Actually move. Like, I'm being trolled by the AI. Thank you. The man who has grit. So I'm thinking. 
this as a move for this, so we'll have to figure out where we're going to settle to make that happen. You immediately go old god obelisk we're going to make a dedication it's obviously monumentality because they're making 30 faith per turn um choose research currency always good to get now we can go back to exploring is this deity yes but we're absolutely wrecking it i have to wait before i recruit in here until i place my second district Sure. Um, I'd like to chop out a hero in Woods. Something like this is how I'll build this city. One here. One, two, three. That will control all of this little bit of forest here. Um, eh, these are going to be like super suboptimal desert cities, which is not ideal, but they will do. The city as a design will do work. Does the government plaza not have to be in the capital city? No, you can build it anywhere. Most people just do build it in the capital because it's. Two pounds and zero pennies PLS rename a city pole dancer. More pole puns. Sure thing. Pole dancer. There you go. Money. All the world's Money. buy a settler in there next turn. Also need to start buying builders. Uh, I believe I have all the same UI mods, but the UI appeal filter doesn't actually show numbers. Am I missing something? You're probably missing the detailed appeal mod. Appeal UI mod. Detailed appeal lens, I think it's called. Feeling good. One, two, three. So there's probably a city on one of these two tiles, so I'll send someone that way. A lot of faith banked. The city needs to be converted by the shrine. Buy a missionary. Because I need the extra faith from the old god obelisk in here. Mathematics is reasonable. I want to get Colosseum if I can. Refresh into a new era, so it might be possible. New government. Oh, right. Shit. Adam and Anki, based. Huge. So that was worth... Three error score because it's an older world wonder. Um, still good, but now it makes these like look at these tiles. These are insane. So this is miracle, miracle Poland. Uh, I want to build my government plaza, or do I go entertainment complex first? I think I go entertainment complex first and go straight for Colosseum. And I'd like my next governor title to be Magnus, and I'll put him into the capital. So to get ahead of that, I'm going to move you to there. No, not there. Sorry. I want you in pole dancer. Good job on the holy site. Let's keep reinforcing the faith growth. You go there, that's the best spot. Amazing. Oh! Amazing. 
Where are we going? Right, boom. Of course, you're standing there, you annoying prick. Acquiring relics is the most important thing we can do in the game. So, essentially rushing those while it will delay our actual cities. Um, these cities are rushed out so quickly that it doesn't really matter. Boom. Need to gather as much EXP and... Hate to see the marsh tile get destroyed. I know it's a really, really nice marsh tile. But where else am I going to put the government plaza? I guess in theory... We could do this to save it. We do need at least one plus four commercial hub this game. You know what I mean? Like we do this to save it. I lose out on a little bit of adjacency on this holy site. Eh, I guess we'll save it. It's that good of a tile. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it. It's too good. We should keep it. So I think I settle sheep. So that I get the three food. Um, Magnus, put him into the capital. Now we want to faith by a builder in a little while. Not yet, but like in a little while. I'd like to get out another settler. Yeah, I'd like you to move. Uh, there's a plus five holy site in Krakow. Is this a one holy site game? No, I have I have two holy sites going. Um, I definitely need to get the city up to a higher population level. So in that sense, I'm going to prioritize a granary. Because I really want to build this. Although, actually... Yeah, I want to get Immaculate District boost, so I'm going to go for growth rather than actually building the district yet. Let's get the Settler. The settler here. These are not very good cities. They're kind of f crappy forced coastals, but even in a Miracle Poland game, that's fine. So I don't think getting... Another hero after Woods makes sense unless I chop it out. Step back, take the hill promotion. There's the arena. Anyone selling Diplo favor? People are selling these. I'll take those. Yeah, they're selling their Diplo favor for nothing, so I'll take it. Um. Anyone want to buy Diplo Favor? So let's think about this. Um, planning this city. There's definitely going to be a aqueduct here because we want to get fresh water. The city of Plock needs to basically go old like this. Um, but other than that, there's probably going to be a theater square here. There will be... Um, a few other things. You settle in place, boom. Nice, good work. I wish there was some desert floodplain here. It would make my life a lot easier. So the miracle part of Miracle Poland is that you can do literally whatever you want once you get these heroic relics and you do monumentality. It's such a sick and disgusting build. Now you could probably be better off if you were like really targetedly oriented in a particular direction, but you don't have to be. You can just kind of meme about and have a good time. Maybe buy the bad bananas. Um, let me look into that. I'm trying to save my money. 
Bananas are a good tile, though. I will take them. Go here. Fate spread. Um, we really need a builder. We want to build, build two housing improvements. You need to get a builder as well. It's about time. I need to change my government to this needs to go that needs to come in about to start building wonders so the big thing I need to do is evangelize my religion ooh this is going to be a very very tight timing actually hmm all that extra error score. I feel like I should have hel held that error score. I don't know why I listen to ones. He's usually good, but I feel like I... I mean, the extra settles are great, but I feel like I should have held it. So I need to buy a builder in here to chop this out sooner to get a little bit of error score. Let me think. I'm making 54 faith per turn. I need another builder in this city. I need multiple in there. I need a builder in here to finish this. Um, I can do this, and that should work out to get the big boost. I need to take suzerainty of a couple of city-states. I need to be first suzerain of Vatican. You see, any missions going? Training a galley is an easy one. Let's get that done. So if I put one point into Lahore and I build a galley, I'll become suzerain. Um, also train a heavy chariot and I'll become suzerain of Brussels. Vatican City, I could religiously convert. That'll happen passively in five turns. So I think I can get suzerain of three city-states here, which should be six era score. How much do I need? Let's get the notepad. No pad out. All right. I have 32 error score. I'm getting... I, I need to get 54 error score. So I need to find a pathway between 32 and 50, uh, 54. Um, goal. Current. Uh, that's a difference of what? 22. So... Sus x3 equals 6. Um, Colosseum is 4. So that's 10. That leaves me with 12 to get. Evangelize. Galley. That's 4 and 6 together. Inquisition is one. That's another seven. That leaves me with five to get. Uh, then the first theater square with good adjacency. That should be plus another three. I think, but I think we can find another two points. So I think I think our current build does have room to do this. Um, anyone looking for a trade route? Geneva's looking for a trade route. Where is Geneva? I don't have the tile revealed. I would have to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where would I get another envoy? It could be done. Nope. Somebody already took suzerainty of Geneva. Never mind. I can get feudalism. Ah, I'm getting... Yeah, yeah. I, I think we can very, very easily hit this golden age. Um, so to that end... Yeah, I think I want to keep you inside this city. Trading with Krakow. Go here, improve horses. Perfect. I think we're good. I think I think we can very easily do this. It is not that life... 
So let's get the galley going. Here we go. Two error score. And here we go. That's quite nice. So that got me Suzman to Lahore. Now we're up to 36 points. I need to train a heavy chariot. So that'll take a bit of cash. No cash on hand. All right. Um, I can research apprenticeship. There's a little bit more era score if I can get that done. First time settling desert. That's also era score. Um, you go there. Chop. Make sure that's owned by the right city. Chop. Coliseum. Um, okay. Yes. I'll chop once here. So now that's well before the era ends. Why is it rewarding you for settling bad land? I don't know. The game just... It's just uh, one of the quirks of the game. Um, you're converting. That's good. So I just need to buy a heavy chariot and do stuff like that and maybe find a little bit more era score. Major drought. Construction. <gasps> oh, shit. I never researched temples. That's going to make my life a lot harder. Unless I can buy granary like this turn. The city will grow. I chop cattle. Chop cattle, grow city, build. <sighs> Commercial hub. Chop stone. Get Suki nice. That's another four that replaces it. I, th I think we could still do it. Hard build, heavy chariot. That'll be hard. Um, can we do it in time? I think we can. You. We don't need to chop in here anymore. We can just improve. Um... So, oh, right, 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 right. This is actually making up for a big deficit. So let's kind of, let's do a new assessment. So what have we done? We soothed one. What are we at? Uh, 40 compared to 54. That's 14 era score. So we still have Colosseum going. We have two more soothes. Oh, you guys can't actually see what I'm doing here, can you? Sorry. I'm like, I'm doing the maths. I've done galley. Um, theater square is three. I can't evangelize. That's almost enough. That leaves us with... Three points. We can scrounge up three points. We're getting one from a hero.
resurrect hero I don't have the faith for that buy temple and evangelize that would be a very very difficult goal buy iron or horse unit very very difficult in the time we have training a horseman could happen uh, I could do Sukyanis that would do it I think so if I get Sukyanis in my capital yeah yeah I think that should do it feudalism and apprenticeship oh that's true real and true yeah that should do it I think we're fine I think we're good I think we're good we're, we, we have secured it I think I think Colosseum beautiful huge about 46 out of 54 you go there mine mine builder um, I guess we'll build the water mill So in order to give this city tempo, I think like Granary Watermill would be sick. Do we want to keep, I think we do want to keep going for holy sites because we will eventually get infinite relics. Oh, right. I, I can't do commercial hub because I can't grow right now. So we'll wait. Um, there's a plus three holy site right there. We plan the city. One, two, three. So you can theoretically reach either of these. Um, we could put a theater square there. That's like a decent theater square. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's not bad. It'll do. That'll do. And then a holy site. And potentially a commercial hub. And that's basically that city done. Those are the three districts we need. By Marsh Tile in that city, Vratsrov. My gold is too precious right now. I needed to do other things, so I can't really spend it like that. Hoping maybe I get some error score from exploring. Leave a forest next to a holy site. Um, we're probably not going Mahabodhi this game as much as we would like to. Harvest this, 4-7 pop. Begin the commercial hub. Harvest to finish. Get to the stone. Do it like that. So this is definitely a harbor city. Just because it's coastal, I don't really have a choice. If it's coastal, it kind of has to be a harbor city. Um, so is this one. But doesn't mean it doesn't have to be a holy site city. This one is much more obvious. One, two, three... Start making friends with Geneva, I guess. Ooh, big. Big if we can get them. Turn 45, no Gov Plaza? Listen, <laughs> we're greeting. I'll get the Government Plaza in Pole Dancer. It's not good that I've skipped it. But to be honest, it's vanilla Civ 6. Holy side adjacency card. I don't think my adjacency is that good. Worth six faith. I guess six faith is worth it. B 
boom. Uh, train the chariot one turn away that'll be Susan of Brussels we're four points away I think we do it here <gasps> diplo card yeah I should have switched out the diplo card rip Yeah, I think we do it. I think we've got it. We've got it in the bag. Yep. We definitely got it in the bag. Hero, we just need two points. I think Hero plus Heavy Chariot secures it. Six faith is better than two gold. Hello, true. Should be optimizing. Should be playing sweaty. I mean, but it's Miracle Poland. You don't need to play sweaty. I mean, it's like what? Turn 46. Very nice. Very nice. Perfect. 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 Okay. Um, I guess we can go back to settling now. The crisis is over. One turn temple is quite good. Four turns left, even easy. Um, God, that's beautiful. Really, really beautiful to see. This actually might be the most tourism I've ever had this early into the game. I would be amazed. It's insane. Ooh, Zanzibar is buying. Should maybe consider converting some people. Make sure to pick up Theology for next era. Theology? What? Evangelize religion. Yeah, I should evangelize. We gotta wait for the temple. I was gonna go Mahabodhi, but it's it, when you're playing Hero and Legends, like your the demands on your empire is like too much. Um, so there's like a reasonable city center here. No, sorry, reasonable holy site here. Um, and then we can do like commercial hub. No good theater square, really, sadly. But we can just do a plus, we can accept a plus one theater square for now, and that'll be fine. Um, Very like Government Plaza, but it's okay. Evangelize next era for score. Yes, that's actually true. Chop the copper for a better holy site. Nah, I would rather keep the copper. Nice to meet you. This is disgusting. Um, so we got the temple. Let's take the apostles, but we're not going to use them until next or until next era. Watermill. We don't want to build Suki Nice either. Um, ancient walls boosts attack. I guess we can spend time doing that if we don't need to do anything else. Let's check tiles. We're working reasonable tiles. Should totally chop and improve this tile here. Bread and circuses, knee hang rush. I could knee hang rush someone, but that's not part of the plan. I, I have crusade just in case I decide to go to war. That's what you take crusade for is Miracle Poland. It's like, hey, someone's getting a little bit tasty over there. Let's go murk him. Also, by the way, look at this culture tempo. I'm literally more culture than everyone except Hungary. This is insane. This is unheard of. This is like BBG Poland. So you guys don't do this yet. Uh, I guess we can go fight these. 
Take city state out or two. I was considering it, but my problem is I want all of these alive. I have more land down here. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities, and I have room for two more down here. And another one over here somewhere. You meant everyone got plus five error score? Fuck. Mogadishu could be a free kill. In a normal non-multiplayer game, I never end up with less than 20 cities, Keck. I mean... I'm going to save that for the next era because I get access to Chorus. We could kill Mogadishu and settle in here. Um... We also don't care about Lahore. We can also settle here. There's no reason not to. Yeah, we're going to just continue like mass settling. It is like the correct way to play, really. I do kind of agree. There's no reason for us not to do it. Um, Ancestral Hall now? Audience Chamber. Yeah, I think Ancestral Hall. Ancestral Hall is just better in the base game, I feel. This doesn't have a very good holy site, so I'll get the harbor first. Juicy plus five holy site. Yeah, there's a couple of really nice ones here. What I've thrown also not bad if you take two cities, 20% production for 10 turns. But I, I am also continuing to settle. Yeah, I mean, I guess if I'm going to kill cities, actually, now that you've said that out loud, that makes a lot more sense to me. Because, like, if I kill a city, it's 20% production across my whole empire. If I, if, if, if I even just kill Mogadishu and Lahore, that's like a huge tempo increase. Although, to be fair... Getting free builders is also a huge tempo increase in a monumentality game. And I don't plan on going to big war. I only plan to kill Lahore. Maybe maybe I plan to kill Lahore, Brussels, and Vatican City. That's 15 turns of 20% production. Is that better than getting a free builder, free five charge builder with all my cities? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Warlord's Throne it is. We'll, we'll go Warlords. Uh, one turn. So I can put a turn into Suki Nice to finish it next turn. Next era, rather. Uh, let's continue to improve this city. High roll, high roll. Easy. Um... This has two farmable tiles, so I'll go for watermill because that's just like huge growth tempo. City already has really good growth tempo, so we'll see if that even matters. Um, just place a district. Vratz of marsh tile, that's true. And plock marsh tile, actually. Um, can't afford a settler this turn. Boom. Auto explore. I don't care to explore with you. Auto explore. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Of course I would find that. Get Hercules. Yeah, I think Hercules is on my list of the next hero that I would really, really like. Maybe Vratsov can build it. Let me look through my list of cities. Who can do it the fastest? Yeah, Hercules Devotion in here. Maybe I could chop him out. It's 
a beautiful day where you get the chain monumentality golden ages together now we don't really we would like to get another golden age but we can live without another one um but now this is where this is insane right because now i'm going to get 20 gold 20 science 20 culture um just like boom straight on top of my entire economy it's like ridiculous look at that look at that Um, evangelize, evangelize, another apostle, choose belief. Tithe feels like really good here. Plus, Gurdwaras are kind of sick as hell too. Yeah, yeah. Gurdwara is just like a, it's just a really good building. Boom. Um, look at this economy, dude. It's ridiculous. What's my <laughs> culture at? Amazing. Oh right, I need to build Mont Saint Michel. Do I care? No, that's. Yeah. Well, maybe. When the Void Singers upgrade in two more eras. Nah. I just save my faith for cultists, I think, and go uber late game relic spam. That's how you play Miracle. Um, no one asked. They're probably going to ban Great Merchants. Almost certainly going to be Great Merchants that get banned. Oh, great writers. Okay. Surprised by that. I'm not doing internals this game, so I don't want to promote Magnus with surplus logistics. I'm going to be doing what? Moksha is not bad. The gang. Grants is always okay, I think. And if I go curator and buy all the great works from the AI. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Um, anything I can sell real quick? Anyone got like a good chunk of gold? There we go. Let me sell off some stuff here. <laughs> okay. I want to buy the amphitheater to have room for great works of writing so I can buy more. Amazing. Um, I want these to be in, what's the name of the city? Pole Dancer. So I want these to be in Pole Dancer because they're worth more. Perfect. You probably want to get printing too to double those. Um, speaking of great works, actually. Any relics going? No normal relics going. I have no room for them. Hard build Gurdwara, which will allow the city to continue to grow. You're launching an Inquisition. I want to buy more settlers now. Um, one, two, three. We could settle here and here. What's going to be your second district? Probably. I don't care, to be honest with you. So I'll just buy you a settler rather than place it. 
Quick Horseman for Aeroscore? Uh, I don't need Aeroscore right now. Like, I don't need to beeline Aeroscore, rather. Um, hell yeah. So I need to buy Magnus. Kilba, Divine Right. I don't care about Divine Right. I want a Faith Purchase. Builders up here. And make sure we're in position for the Great Choppening. In two turns to get Hercules nice and quick. Top culture, hell yeah. Incredible forest fire in Brussels, kill it. Old God Obelisk's room. Oh yeah, that's true. It's true. True, 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 true. You speak the true, true. Uh, no. Jesus Christ. Moksha gives 20% faith boost. Plus two faith for every specialty district. No. I'll take Moksha though, just because he's generally okay. Um, mostly I need room for great works. I'm not going to monarchy, maybe reform church. Camps are online. Why would I trade those? Why? AI, you need to think more. Um, okay, this should do it, I think. Research printing. Check for great works. Very expensive, but I'll buy it. Portrait, landscape, religious. Artifact relics? No relics. Um Oh wait, should I should I buy heroic relics actually? Oh yeah, because I'm not gonna get them until artifact. Oh hold on. Oh, he's not willing to trade it. Their reluctance. Um, I mean, I could build Hanging Gardens. It's a literally a two-turn wonder. I could build Mont Saint Michel. Fifteen percent growth in all cities. Ethiopia has a heroic relic for you. Uh, I need to have raw gold. Hold on. Hell yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Look at those yields. That's disgusting. Um, do you think it's worth it? I guess, you know what it is? It also gives tourism. So that's what that's what maybe makes Hanging Gardens worth getting. It's like a very, very slight trickle of tourism. But it could be a difference maker. A little bit of culture from Mogadishu. I need to switch my government card. I have the green card still plugged in, which is a mistake. Uh-huh.
20% Faith Wonder. Oh, shoot. Where's Kotoku in? It's here somewhere, right? There it is. We should totally build that. Problem is, we're crushing all our good tiles in our capital. Do heroic relics theme? No, not unless you're um, the auto theming civ, Sweden or whatever. Sweden auto themes, right? I need to buy more settlers. We're dilly dallying. Should I just be projecting for great works? Okay, Hercules, boom, boom. I feel like I should be just projecting for great works. The to the There's the Hanging Gardens, nice. The three great Reformed Church, this is going to make things cheaper. Um, let's retool here. Served them for sure. No, because you can buy the great works. That's probably true. Um. Okay, Miracle Poland. Let me think about what we're doing here. Don't need this card R anymore. Can probably plug this in. Autocracy Legacy is a reasonable card, but are there better cards? Retainers in theory. If I were to plug in retainers and buy a scout in every single city, have I unlocked crossbows? I probably have. Wonder policy card? That's probably better than that. Um, okay, you're heading south. Why urban planning? Because plus one production per city is just like super, super good tempo. Should probably do this. I should also do this. Make sure I have open borders with every sieve. Make sure I have trade routes with every sieve. Harbor first, then preserve. Um, do I want the Koktoku in? 20% faith. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Oh my god. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Thank you so much, Tutti Kiri. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super appreciate it. Um, make sure you guys go check out Tutti Kiri. She plays a lot of like indie games, really, really cool indie games. And uh, she's a super two-dimensional raid. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, really, really great creator. It was super fun to meet her at um, TwitchCon too. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Thank you for the raid. Um, we're trying to play Miracle Poland, which is something that was revealed to me in a dream. Well, no, it's basically you just play Poland in Civ 6 really well. Um, I think we make the Kotoku in for 20% extra faith. Do I have to sound the air raid alarm? It's not that kind of raid. It's a friendly raid. It's a, it's a, you know, it, instead of invading our lands and pillaging our yields, they come in and they, they bring good tidings and hopefully Twitch primes. 
um, welcome, welcome, everyone from 2D Kiri Stream. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, what was uh, what were you guys watching before here? Um, send delegations. Ooh, probably need to send delegations and probably get friendships now as well. You checked out the new Into the Breach update. I saw a post about that on Reddit. Was it worth playing? Um, I really, really liked Into the Breach when it originally came out. Or, well, I really liked Into the Breach when I played it. Um, so I'm curious to see if the uh, new patch is any good. Zanzibar still independent. You know, I could get like a single winged hussar and just pop in there and yoink it. Like, oh wait, no, it's closed. Damn, I can't get through the mountain range. Um, probably a good idea to actually build a district in here, which I have not done. I have placed like three different districts, but built none of them. <laughs> um, more faith just seems like super based for this Civ. Would you say the primary purpose of delegation embassy is to build relationships or to increase diplomatic visibility? visibility? Um, I would say it's to increase relationships, but you can sometimes do it with the express purpose of increasing diplomatic visibility. I would say both are valid use cases. Um, Faith purchase a trader. I'm thinking about settlement locations. There's definitely like two or three down here to the south. But I'm starting to become confined. I need to think about war. Build St. Basil's. Ooh. That is a great point. The city still has a ton of chops. Let's go ahead and grab... Magnus, reassign him to Pole Dancer, which is what? Uh, uh, I can't remember who asked me to rename the city, but it was a, a good pun. Um, you're in position. Let's start faith buying builders and we can chop out St. Basil's here. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, St. Basil's should accelerate us a little bit. Um... Thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. Two-dimensional raid. Thank you, Infinity Simplex. Welcome, welcome. I'm not going to cook it, but I'll order from Zanzigar. You need to meet everyone. You can only generate tourism against people you've already met. Uh, I've already met everyone. I only play small games with six players. So we are we are churning. Need to, I got open borders with everyone. I need to start trading with them, actually. Um, so what's our win condition? Probably tourism. That's what, like, um, that's what Miracle Poland does. This is like a tourism domination-y style. Um, so yeah, it's probably a good idea to trade with the Ottomans. Extra tourism. Uh, any new great works to buy? Oh, yes. I've like burnt all of my cash buying things, but that's okay. Lublin just needs food. In a big, 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 big way. Um, need to find a use for this guy. Ah, yeah. <gasps> I can't embark. Whoops. A little bit of a mistake. That's okay. We make mistakes all the time. It's how we bounce back. That matters. Go to every AI and check if there's relics. Quick deals is bug with heroic relics or something. Um, they won't sell them to me if they have them. <gasps> oh, excuse me. That's very expensive. 
but very worth it. Oh, he must have some raw gold with it. Okay. God, this brings me back. I'll wait a turn before I do that again. But our tourism is very, very good. What are you up to? 124. We're building St. Basil's too with chops. Wait for Magnus. Make sure we buy more builders. Any tile improvers? Um, so we want to trade with England. A little bit of extra tourism. Good job. That was such a Civ 3 style negotiation. Yes. I honestly, I feel like one of the biggest things that needs to get taken out of Civ games is that like t diplomatic table style negotiation. I think it's like kind of, kind of crap. It was an innovation back in the day, but I, I really do think there's a better way to do it. Boom. Um... So what's our tourism looking like? We're up to 172. So we're stealing very, very quickly. We might be able to get a hundred turn 100 win here. Waiting for Magnoid. Make sure we get printing. Get the Suki nice. Anything I can sell? Turtles. sell everything um, and then look to buy great works of writing have you checked the city-states quests we're all trade routes and stuff like that Zanzibar wants a spearman but they're basically dead so who, who asked Any askers? So... Theoretically, I could go preserve here. I won't, though. It's not a bad mausoleum city. It's not a bad everything city. Um, trying to think. I could build Kilba. Is this the city to build it in? I guess it is, right? I don't have anywhere else that can really do it. It's like literally the best wonder in the entire game. Right, nice. There's printing. We're up to nearly 200 tourism per turn. They just start just mass buying set mass buying builders. I don't have any room for settlers really anymore. Um, right, builder over here. Lublin could use a trader. Error score math, I think it's out of reach. Well, 
See, we've used up all the easy ones. Um, let's do the error score math then, I guess. Okay. So we're at 80. We're at 80, and we need to get to 99. Uh, so let me do this. Current goal um, 80, 99. Does it matter if we get a golden age? Probably not. So the difference is 19. Um, I'm thinking, what do we got in the pipeline here? Plus four, plus four. So Kotoku, St. Basil's, those are each plus four, plus four. So that leaves 11 points to get. Um, I've already researched ahead of time. You got 83. Oh, sorry, 83. That makes it slightly easier. Uh, 16, which means I only need eight. Uh, horse, sword, that would be plus one each, right? Horseman, swordsman. I'm lacking the iron, I'm lacking the horses is the only problem. Uh, Hussar, plus four, and then I got two, I need two more. We've already done Inquisition. I can't get the nationalism in time. I could maybe get a NIDA unit. Levying city-states, yeah, I think I think we can do it. Between all the variety of things that we can do, I think we can do it pretty easily. We've done boat. So I think with Kotuku and St. Basil's, Horse and Sword and Hussar, I think between all of those we can get it. Now the problem is... Uh, does returning those guys get you era score? I need to buy iron. <sighs> I need this iron. The lack of iron is crippling. Can't make winged hussar without iron. Is the problem. <sighs> I'm going to have to compromise in this city. We're going to have to make some compromises. That's okay. Compromise is not a dirty word. Settle on a different continent. That would be quite tough. I think we can do it. I think we got it. But just in case for the settle on different continent mode, we will get another settler and send it over here and just settle it in the mountains. Um, waiting for Magnus. Find the builder. Hercules could build a plus three campus somewhere. That's true, actually. I could just do that. I could replace this to be a campus. Hang on. That's like easy error score. Good call. Um...
Oh shoot, can I buy this? Um, I just need like a little bit more gold. Uh, come on. Come on. Give me the cash. Uh, wait, that doesn't count? That doesn't give you the error score? Rigged. Absolutely rigged. Um, I think we have it. I think I think we I think we can chill. We've got it in the bag, right? Am I crazy? These two wonders alone should get us most of the way there. You know what? Sprawling Empire does it. True, I can't settle on the volcanic soil for error score. Does it have to be on the volcanic soil or does it just have to be adjacent to the mountain or is it within two tiles? I don't remember. Plus four commercial hope your first one wasn't plus four. Are you sure about that? Alright, good shit. Get out of here, Hercules. Uh, what's our wind condition looking like? 5 out of 32. It's starting to slow down a little. Eleven turns in there. I think we've got this. With these two wonders, we're done. We don't need to we we can stop even questioning whether or not it's gonna happen. It's a foregone conclusion at this point, boys. They're of era or ahead wonders, like. Um, so now we can go back to p passively buying All the great works. One had a twist. Easy. Red. Easy clap. So, the city of Pole Dancer. We want as many relics in here as possible. St. Basil's is huge. Um, Art Museum for more room. If anything come off the charts, you haven't even seen anything yet. It's only beginning. It is only begun. Need a diplomatic quarter. The fact that I'm late on it feels bad.
One thing I'm wondering here is, do I actually have room for heroic relics? Uh, actually, yeah. Um, so there's an open question here. Can I store three heroic like relics in one city? No, you can't. You can only store two. I have room for two more heroic relics. So maybe it's better to go archaeological museum. Because my thinking was maybe I go art museum because, um, I don't need archaeologists because I'd already have used up all my heroic relic room. But there still is technically. And Juan sent me a message kind of stating similar things. Um, you need to get over to Legnica now. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking. Three at least, seven on the screen. One, two. If I were to build another one, I could get another one. Yeah, I'm thinking of chopping out a hero. It's kind of what I was thinking in my mind. So you kind of read my mind there once. Maybe Plock? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, ye who tread the narrow There's Kotoku in. There's the Golden Age secured. And I will take Himiko because I think Himiko is overpowered. I don't have, I think I have room or need for more settlers. I mean, maybe down here, but I think the big thing is just to make sure I continue to have a monopoly on all of the great works in the world. The big problem is Hungary is like such an outlier on culture. Like what an asshole. More cities equals more heroes. Yeah, but you also have to like, it has to have a reasonable number of chops. Like maybe a city down here can do it. Um, oh shit, he's holding out on me. The quick deal screen is like not great. It leaves some things by the wayside. I can't believe it. I need more monuments. I need more cities. Oh my god. <laughs> I need more cities. I need more places to put great works. Those old god obelisks are going to help me a lot. Um... What the hell do we build here? I guess we could just get the theater square. Sinbad is huge for money, but can only be recruited in coastal monument. Yeah, I know that. Um, Okay. Is 
the hell is this called again? Hungary, sell me your great works. Not make that deal under any circumstances. I might not have room for it. We'll wait a turn until we have a little more room. We'll figure that all out. You don't have money? I think it's a room thing, honestly, actually. Not a money thing. I talked to Hungry. And now that I moved a thingy, he might... Uh... Yeah, he just doesn't think I have enough, maybe. Could be, could be, could be. Um, need to get my GPT up. Banking? Any bankers? Probably better off trading with my capital. Temple of Artemis, that's another trickle of tourism. It's a very, very small amount of tourism, but it's worth like five tourism per turn. So that's worth getting, I think, for three turns of production. Um, preserve. Just for fun, really. Okay, that's annoying. I think I can settle. I don't want to settle on the marsh, though. Maybe here. That'd be a fun tile to settle on. Do, 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 do. I'm not really sure what to do. Petra and Rotsa. Unfortunately, you need a flat desert tile to build Petra, which does not exist. Money is the only thing holding you back, not stats. I think we'll be fine. Damn. This Matthias guy. Real, real heel. Some of these deals have got to be running out. Oh, another 20 turns for most of them. Ugh. I need cash. I need cash and a lot of it. Um... Bear, bear. That's fine. Bear, 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 bear. Bum, bum, bum. Sinbad equals gold. Oh, true. You speak the true. But it's not gold I need so much as GPT. Still bad is a lot of gold, that's a good point. I mean I, I know that, right? But it was like I wasn't I wasn't connecting that I need lots of gold. The purpose of education. Rip that unfinished killer, yep. Get wrecked, one might say. Very good, exciting, exciting, exciting. We're looking great. Oh shit. What's the most error score you can get on one turn? I mean, I'm pretty sure you could set up like some ridiculous combo if you really wanted to, it wouldn't be hard. You could probably get, I could imagine if you 
had a bunch of wilder wonders pre-built you when could probably get like Those are the 30 to 50 I, I would say that would be like said, very achievable from 30 to 50 sun. would be very very achievable if you're the bank, it all works on so temple of artemis will be worth a little bit of tourism um banks need that commercial hub actually don't think I care about any of those right now. Um, bank. Yeah, just bank everywhere that it makes sense. Honestly, is it not just worth it to chop out in here anyway? Mm, they're jungle chops. Do you want to think about some naturalists? Let's have a little look around. No, I don't really want to do any aggressive stuff like pillaging people. I want to do a nice chill Relic Poland. I mean, I do have the option to because I do have Crusade, but that was more of like a meme pick just, just to show that you can take that and choose to, but I never really wanted to show it off. Or I never really got to show it off, rather. Chop. Chop chop there's no reason not to get a holy site here right England missionaries I mean they could try we'll see what happens Gonna build walls for tourism. Ugh, that feels like a slow and weak strategy, but I guess I could. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll do that. Um, hungry. I'll turn you into a musketman soon. That'll take care of some of my woes. Walls are not worth it, do you reckon? Hmm. I mean... I super disagree. It's six tourism per turn, baseline, per city, versus having to project for great riders that are blocked. I think walls are the right choice here. Now, maybe when they're unblocked, I think it's worth it. And it depends on the Diplo Congress. Um, if the Diplo Congress is 100% production towards city center buildings, then I think it is worth it to go walls and then project. Um, so I don't think I bother using Himiko's ability. I think the big beam is to get archaeologists there. Amphitheater. How much is a project? Six turns versus two turns of production. Yeah, I feel like walls are worth it. Um, I've got a thousand faith in the bank.
Askers. Under the white cliffs. I mean, walls have really, really low tempo, but I think it's better than projecting right now because riders are blocked. After this era, if we don't get city center building boost, then I think projecting is, is worth it. Um, we could just go money mentality again so we can continue to buy faith by builders and increase our tempo I don't think the choice there is very important so now I'm starting to think well the city can't project so it may as well build walls I'll boost my faith income. I am building banks, so going up to level 3 with Mogadishu would be based. Nothing too important with those, to be honest with you. Have you tried Basil Byzantine Challenge of Religion Victory plus No Holy Site? You need to get your religion from Stonehenge. Um, that just sounds kind of difficult and... Tedious. I will definitely do it. Um, I wish it was really easy to see who had great works. Oh, shit. Give me that. Yeah, I think I have literally every great work in the entire world in my in my empire. Which is exactly how it should be. Uh-huh. Do 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 I think we're good. I think we're good. We're stomping. It doesn't matter who this is. Oh, that's a point, actually. I could faith by great writers. Didn't think of that, actually. Um, yes. Great idea. I should have bought Oracle this game. If I'd have been thinking about it, I would have gone Oracle. But alas, we did not. We did not go Oracle. So we're in the Renaissance era. Next era, we can get cultists. We should win before cultists, I feel. Cash. Need cash money. Um... My problem isn't room for stuff now. Oh, well, this, this should actually just be where these relics are kept. Um, my problem isn't room for stuff so much as it is generating the stuff. Which says to me that I should probably start projecting. Is a zoo worth it? The amenities on zoo are like super... I mean, amenity, amenities on zoo is extra stats, but do I need stats right now? The big advantage of Apadana is it gives me room for great riders and it's also worth tourism in of itself, although the city's already really crippled for production, but it should be fine. Um, build Hermitage. Hermitage is a very, very slow wonder. I want the zoo. I think if I were to decide between the zoo, I think Apadana does more for my empire than zoo. So we'll do Apadana. Her yeah, Hermitage just comes way too late into the game to ever to ever really be worth it. I think that's not too much of a hot take. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's the highlight of Stellaris? What? The hell are you asking? So I should probably... Yeah, I'm going to have to start retooling what I'm doing here. I need theater squares. I need room for great works. Stats. Cartography is good for gold. Great obelisk is going. Um, As a young boy. Let's just go whole hog and buy more great riders because that's the kind of guy we are. I can buy an amphitheater. Oh shit, that's actually a really good point. I could just like retool my entire empire for national parks with my huge faith income. I don't have to keep it this way. Oh my god, it's actually a genius point. Um, so let's start planning national parks. I know, I, I usually think of this, but I didn't this game. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. So that's one national park. It's another national park right there. It's kind of a national park if we ever get that tile. Um, there's a national park right there. One, two, three, four, four national parks. Uh, definitely feel like we could do something here. And here. Speaking of Tourism merchants are probably coming. You're right. I do think you're right, man. Once. Um, we'll have to pick these up. The relic, great general, I think, has either been already taken or hasn't appeared yet. That could be a national park right there. One, two, three. There's also a theoretical national park right here. Okay. Theoretical national park right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Theoretical national park right here. Okay, um, we'll do a little bit more analysis in a w little while. Where is the city? Faith Purchase Builder. Builder, Builder, Builder. That's it. So we'll start Faith Purchasing Builders en masse to get our empire completely retooled. I never know how to create national parks. Any tips? Oh, right. I should probably explain what I was doing there. Um, I was just, I've done it so many times that I was on autopilot. Basically, in order to make a national... So here's the shape of tiles. You need to make uh, this shape. Okay. All of the tiles in this shape have to be owned by the same city and have an appeal of four or higher, or of three or higher. So if you go into the appeal map mode, I have, a, I have a modded appeal map mode. You can see everything is really, really low, but I can raise that up. Oh, I should, I should be building builders instead of faith buying them. Because you can build builders, but naturalists have to be purchased with faith. That's a good point, actually. 
did not think about that. I'll keep that city. Why not? There's no reason not to. Um, Do you want to start planting forests? Making all the fun things? Retooling our entire empire? There's also a ton of national parks in and around in Rot Rotsov. Um, nope. Move Pingala from... From Rotswav to Pole Dancer. The difference is one pop. Oh shit. Why are you in the wrong city? Oh my god. It was the tourism I was missing out on. I can't believe it. Um, you're right. Good call, chatter. Yeah, I'm in theocracy. Reformed Church or whatever it's called. Good call on the chatter. <laughs> Perfect. that appeal come up finally kick w listen guys don't finally me in chat you'll all be banned uh, when did i move him how did i make that mistake i don't know what i was oh it was when i put magnus into the city yeah i wasn't paying attention i'm pretty sure i can break this screen if i pick up too many relics that's still true right I got room for one more. I hate to kill these beautiful tiles, but it may be necessary. Um, honestly, this card's kind of trashed here now. Well... It might actually be one of the best cards I have available to me because it's the only way I increase my faith income a little bit. But it doesn't seem that much. There's got to be a better card than that. Somewhere in here, right? Walls? Mm. I'd rather get my naturalists up first. Open borders. I do need to get open borders. But I'm focused on government right now. <sighs> oh, you know what? Get lots of amenities. Seems like a based plan. The yeah, I guess parks do give that ones, but it means that you uh, by doing it this way, I have even more to play with. We got some stats here. Open borders. Fuck. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. I thought I... Did I not only just do that recently? Who am I missing? Oh, Ottomans. I'm missing Ottomans. Right. Because I got a friendship with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Military aid request. I agree. Use the warrior monks for free amenities. Oh, God. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Good shout. Chatters, watching out for my back. Because I'm kind of forgetful. National parks are insane era score, man. Uh... 
Uh, so I think it's, yeah, I, I was waiting until I actually had places to put them before I purchased them. If I put a forest here. So let's do a little bit of tile swapping. Yeah, I definitely feel starved for gold. It might be, yeah, I think you're right. It might be a good idea to plug in the gold purchasing card, or the tile card. The cheaper gold tile purchasing card. No one starts a war, or of human nature. So you go there, boom, National Park. What's the tourism looking like? We're at 20 out of 58, damn. I thought it was looking a little bit better than that. Extract. Way to turn. Where to go to next? Yeah, okay. Um, does anyone remember what turn I won on my other relic game? I would want to see like the comparison. So many friendships possible. I mean, if it'll make you happy. It's open border time. The open border turn came. I'm actually glad I waited a couple of turns with the Ottomans. Means I can line them all up on one turn. Need like two more builders. Want the grove just for the meme. Yadwiga. Thing of Himiko. That's all the room we have for those relics. Amani for city state, I guess. Theoretically, I should have killed some of these city-states, but I didn't. Um, but I think it's a bit late now. I don't think it would massively impact my game if I didn't. If I did. I don't think uh, I don't think Reina does the appeal thing. Oh, she does actually. So we'll be sure to try and get her into one of these cities soon. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this though. Alliances? Oh, I should probably get alliances, yeah, alliances sure. There's Apadana, Civic Completed. Whatever, Re Research Alliance, sure. Who cares? Uh, military Alliance, sure. 
who cares? And religious Lawrence, sure. Any chances for a Panama Canal? Near zero. This is kind of a sweaty game where we're going for well, I'd say it's a it's a lightly sweaty game where we're going for a mild sweat lord build. Is it time to project? Probably. That's exactly what I wanted over here. Step off, break it. You take it. The national parks are coming. Parks and Rec will find you. Naturalist next turn. I'm afraid to extract this because I don't know where the heroic relics were. Because I don't have room for any more. Heroic relics have their own slot type um, that they can't be slotted into. Uh, uh, scripture still feels kind of trash here. Um, I guess actually that's actually a good point. I could theoretically sell my great work to like the Ottomans. But he literally won't take it off me. Okay. Um, what if I sold it to Menelik? Menelik. Here's what I should do. Really? Damn, these are not worth a lot of money. Okay. So it was a sword. Need to have four tiles bring over the same city, at least plus three appeal. For any religion, what war, put one of these way to do a ton of error in each turn. Yeah, that would be a very simple way to do it. Um, so how are we cutting? Are we cutting it close? I think we're okay. Oh, dude, I actually... This is going to be like one of the first times... Um, or at least it feels like it's been a long time since I've ordered out... Uh, ordered food. Um, I'm going to order dinner tonight. It's my reward for going so hard on playing the Poland games. It's like a builder. 150 production, built at double speed. That's like a builder for three tourism per turn. I don't have infinite room for... I have infinite room. Also, build is a 33%, 30% faster. Okay, it's like a builder and a half. Can I get three tourism per turn from a builder right now? Not really. I don't have a... If I had, if I had a thing 
five woods. Mm. I'm capping on, on you there. I've already got builders. Here, I'll make a builder for you, okay? It's like slightly more than a builder. Walls are super poor value. Nobody builds them. I think they're making a mistake. It's like, think of it. It's like 1.5. Like, let's do the math on this. Um, ancient walls. Medieval walls. Um... Let's, let's do the maths on it. Hold on. I'm going to have to stop reading your chat once because it's very distracting and it's taking me away from actually playing the game and I just want to play the game now. It's 80 production for this, right? 80 for this walls. Um, so 300 production plus Renaissance is like another 400 or something. Right. Um, fuck. So it's 600 total production. It's 300 production. For six tur six baseline tourism per turn per city. That's comparable to having. Now I think walls are worth it when you have limited land, right? Now if you have infinite land, if infinite land exists and infinite faith exists, then sure. Um, I think it totally makes sense to keep making builders. But there's a compromise. Like, they're pretty low tempo, I'll agree. I'll give you that. 300 production, you think Wonders are better value? Uh, maybe early Wonders. Maybe super unclaimed early wonders are, but there's no way Hermitage is better value. So One great work is like six tourism too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm coming around to the walls that worth it argument. M my logic behind the walls thing was always that. Ah. Uh, There's not infinite land to expand into, and so getting the walls up helps. But I'll try. I'll try your style. I'll try to not build walls. I built some, obviously, but I'll try your style. Don't judge someone. I'll give it a go. I'll try. I'll try your style. I'm willing. Walls are good if you get Tamara Valletta. Mm, I'll agree with that. Renaissance walls also give a bit of science. That's with a card, though. It's not default. Bro, I'm so upset that I can't get trade routes, but basically... Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's huge. Actually, Arabia trade route. 25. Yeah, I think we're, we're stomping around towards the end of the game now. Um... Okay. Unfortunately, I have to do this. They did their job. I do need to keep an eye out for great merchants, actually. None of these guys help, really. I mean, Brussels is fine. 
Mahenjo-Daro's culture and maybe exploration. Oh, shit. It helped me find Rapa Nui. Oh, Pog. Okay. Uh, Rapa Nui's a game changer. For deforestation memes. Mm, requires flight, though, right? Moai. There you go. Can't be built in tundra. Could kill Mogadishu. Will kill Mogadishu. Oh yeah, I should definitely go for Eiffel though. Um, oh yeah, and I should definitely get Crystal Red and Thor. You're right. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You're very distracting once. You're, you're, okay, I'm done reading you. I'm actually done. I'm going to attempt your build. You're, you're just, it's too distracting. I want to get through the game now. Um, Krako. Shit, that was meant to be international. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, boom. Nice. So, unironically, we could kill a silver and get a national park here. Is a trade route across the sea possible but hungry? Um, he has no coastal cities, so no. Very, very unlikely. It's, it could happen. Low percentage, I would say. It's not, no, it's not your fault, Lance. I'm the one reading your, your chat. Don't you worry. Okay. You're a good man. Looking out for an old sour potato. Just trying to help you get Giga Chad Fastman. Yeah, no, no worries. No, I, I appreciate it. It's just that um, I'm spending more time reading you than I am playing the game. It's because like every time I do something, you send a new idea at me. And uh, it's just too much and I've grown tired of it. Not in like a, I don't like you kind of way, but in kind of like, okay, that's enough brain power that I can dedicate to that now. And I just want to play. Uh, Send a fast boat over to explore the coast. We could do that. Giga. Alrighty, we're looking good. Need to throw down more settlers. I'll probably win before nukes. I will win long before nukes. Top science with zero campuses. Feels good, man. Uh, how much tourism do you need to win? Generally speaking, you probably will win the game. Um, it really depends on your tempo and like the particular rule set that you're playing. But usually I'll find like you'll get to about a thousand tourism per turn. And that's about when you start like just winning the game. Um, so we're about halfway to a win, maybe slightly beyond halfway. Yeah, I'd say we're slightly beyond halfway with, to, to a win. Um, based on the current status of the game. You know what I need to do here? One campus, not zero. Oh, that's true, true. I do I do have one campus. Good catch. Um, appeals very low here. We'll fix it.
Oh, shoot. I should be checking for more great works. I should be selling things, too. Um, I'll just check it the manual way. I think she stole the Sistine Chapel from someone. I don't have room for that. Why aren't you willing to trade it? Interesting. Maybe it's because I don't have room. This status broken with Russia with nationalist spam and monumentality because of Russia you have 1k for pace per turn. You can still buy builders and parks. Yeah, and Russia can also go for... Um, does Russia go for reliquaries or does it go for work ethic? What do you want? Will you play Civ 1? No. There's your answer. Stealing the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? True. A true Giga Chad move. Uh. Oh! It went into an archaeological museum. Well, that's handy. I think I could just sell that now, right? No one wants it. What if I sell this? Okay, we fixed it. Yeah, Russia goes for work ethic. That's what I thought. Russia work ethic is just like the build. Super based. Russia with reliquaries is based? I don't think so. I think Russia is far better off. Um, and honestly, Poland should probably be... Oh, shit. Poland should probably... Oh, shit, I've got more land over here. Um... When next rider? Not for a while. Poland should probably be a work ethic Civ too, if it weren't for the relics meme. Um, is it still worth it going for a religious victory if you're not going for a religious victory? Yes. I would say religion is worth it in, in certain cases if your Civ is good at going for a religion. Um, and they have some other goal in mind, then it can be worth it to go for a religion. Particularly for tourism victories, but sometimes for domination victories and some of the other victories too. Um, I need a... I need an amphitheater. Tourism, Vic, you always want a religion. Honestly, you want religion on any civ because faith is so broken, but it requires a lot of micro. I think I would somewhat agree with that. Um, faith faith is honestly one of the most overdeveloped mechanics in the game. I think we talked about this before once. It's kind of silly. Um, not that that's like a bad thing. Um, like faith is really, really fun to play with, but it does feel overdesigned in, in the sense that it like, it overpowers the gameplay a little. They made faith, they kind of went, they ran away with themselves a little bit with faith. the designers of the game did. Um, honestly? I have no idea what to do with this city. I'll just make medieval walls. Who cares? I don't care if it's inefficient. Fuck you. That's my thought. Can't you place a great writer in Tarnov? He had a white outline. Let me see. Yes, I could have, but I'm just going to wait the three turns. Uh, 
Um, that's why I think Ethiopia is like one of the most busted faith tourism civs ever because they can faith by um, archaeologists with faith, which is insane. It's an insane thing to be able to do. Doubt if you will. Make sure we have a couple of art museums because there's a bit of art out there that we can't hold. Ethiopia is nerfed into the ground. Saj. In BBG. They shouldn't be. Let my eagle soar. Okay. On leathern wings. Um, this has got to be like the most insane thing that a world leader would ever propose. It's like, let us reforest the entire country. Excuse me? Yeah, we're just, we're, all those economic things, they're, they're being replaced with forest. Actually, that sounds really based. Imagine if Ireland was just covered in forest. <laughs> Holy shit. Be amazing. Forest agriculture, based. At this point, I don't know why I'm still building forests, but I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, you know what, actually? I should just delete this horse. I'm on the builder's spam train now. I, I am a convert. I've seen the light. And being what about economic they did not miss growth? The ever needed. Christopher Editor. Oh, shit. I don't know where my chopping places are anymore. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know how to chop. Uh, I'll build it in the capital, I guess. What if I got Filippo Brunelleschi and used him to make Cristo? Would that be insane? Thoughts on our history untold. I already did a video on it, um, but my basic thought is cautiously optimistic. Looking forward to it. Hopefully it's a good game. Is this the churn? We're kind of in the churn. Yeah. What were you even building? You were doing Sinbad. <gasps> you, I should have chopped him out. I thought I would get him. I kind of forgot I was making Sinbad, to be honest with you. Um... Oh shit, you're right actually. Uh, that's what I usually do. Yeah, I usually go mausoleum first. No! <gasps> there it is. I could just hard build that. Giga Chad. Killa? I mean, Killa would be nice, but I'm kind of busy. You know what I mean? Kill what won't win me the game. I mean, it will help. It won't win me the game. So I need to mark where my chops are. So I don't mess it up. Because I'm going to build Eiffel in this city because there's a bunch of chops in here. Ara. You've not finished Kilwa? Yes, I'm aware. I would like to finish it, but it's just not important to me. How has Kilwa not been taken? Not many people settled coastally this game. 
It's just, uh, sometimes you have a coastal game, sometimes you don't. Oh, baby. Big poggers. Stone tablet. Uh, no. Looks like you've got another park north of Mogadishu. Yeah, I'll get around to that. Alright, nice. There's Mausoleum. We'll start Eiffel in here. So Eiffel will be chopped out. Grab flight for any passive culture, I guess. Plus it's on the way to computers. Probably won't get to computers. Um, what's what's our win condition looking like? We're at 41 out of 71. Damn. Hungary is accelerating. Do they have great works? Is that what's pushing them? It is. Let me take those off your hands. Okay, I need more room for great works. Hang on. Let's see. Do I have any works of art that I could move? Can't move them yet. What about great works of music? Huh. Why won't he sell it to me? I have room for it, right? I'm not crazy. Maybe he just doesn't want to sell it. Alright. You sure? Seems good. What do you got? Ooh, you've been holding out on me. Bro. Uh You. Oh, I've already built my art museum in here. Improve the 600 tourism per turn. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to start plugging in these cards now. That'll help. Break the horses. Um, one, two, three. So we can set that up now for another one. Don't have enough faith for that. Uh, try to think about move book from palace. Like, I don't, I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, what do I do here? Pause and do look at this disgusting faith I've got going. Absolutely insane. Are you winning, son? Dude, we are absolutely wrecking the AI. 41 out of 76. <sighs> How come you don't use quick deals for great works? Because it doesn't always give you all of them. Cheap Colossus for tourism. Ooh, good, 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 good call. Great idea to go for the cheap Colossus. Um, Gdansk. You can't chop out a Petra. We could bring a Leshy it, depending. Should probably plug in the Wonder card if I'm going to do that, but it's fine. That was five turns. Yeah, that should cut it down to a reasonable level. Um... You can chop forests that you plant yourself, but you don't really get anything for it. There's no benefit. Did I finish Grand Masters? I did. I don't like doing this. 
But a couple of line infantry to clear out down south here would be good. It would open up more settlement opportunities. Question, can I trade with Hungary? Mary Leakey slash Merchants Up. No Mary Leakey. She's probably soon. Only the Great Work Merchant that I skipped. Because I'm a Giga Chad. Can't reach Hungary. Let's try from Glasgow. There's Cultural Heritage. Drop Land Surveyors. And then we can plug in Heritage Tourism. That's an extra 22 tourism per turn. And now we can go ahead and start to think about rock bands. I think rock bands sent across the ocean. Well, Hungary's culture is quite strong. I think we can get those rock bands to him before he gets to the all-important point where that will not be effective anymore, where he's able to block my rock bands from going into his territory. Um, but yeah, we're looking pretty tasty. We're in the Renaissance era. We're going to head into the Industrial Era. That will enable also cultists if we want to go for that. It's a theoretical option. We keep making... I, I mean, I honestly... Like, we're, we're only a handful of turns away from winning. Like, we're on the verge. The verge of... Con, 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 you know, taking them out. We're on the verge of glory, one might say. Um... Your relic slots are full now, so cultists obsolete. That's kind of true, actually. So we're just waiting. Free cities. Nice. Nice meme. Um, I'd buy Merchant with the Giga Chad potato on it. What? Right, so there's the Industrial Era. That'll be another golden age. Very nice. Scorched Earth. Make dedication. <sighs> Let's see. We could take Reform the Coinage. We could take Hicks and Draconis. We could take Harpy to Steam. Reform the Coinage is honestly the best one, I guess. Voidsinger giving me 100 gold faith in science. Yeah, it's insane. Merch store? I do need to set up a merch store. You're right. Um... I do have a piece of merch coming out soon. It'll be a really good one. Maybe end of August. Um, honestly, this choice isn't very big important. Or isn't very isn't very big important. This choice doesn't have a big impact on the game. Happy to Steam doesn't affect me. Reform the Coinage is probably the highest impact one. Um, so in Woods, which honestly sounds like the Polish way of saying Woods, um, we got this bad boy going, build a forest. More national parks. If I destroy the silver mine... Let me have a little think here. Destroy the silver mine. This becomes a national park. Destroy this silver mine. This becomes a national park. Yep. It's time to start destroying because I have a spare silver for myself. Five turns for Christo. You can't reach Hungary, Satch. Just trade with Istanbul then. It's fine. One turn away. Magic off the Grove, preserve meme. And then also plunking two mines in range, so it has zero impact. What are you talking about? It's for the Dead Sea, you moron. Look at that Dead Sea, bro. You fool. 
Don't ever kick W me without doing your research. Okay? Don't ever kick W me. All tiles could have been good. Hmm. I could make these. I could make four of these tiles good, not all of them. Maybe with Eiffel. No, they're kick doubling me in the chat. No, stop it. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Cheaper production. Who wants to do a Diplo victory ever? I mean, Diplo victory can be fun. It, 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 like, if you optimize the build, it's interesting. But it's kind of a, like, I don't know. It's just not my favorite way. It's not my favorite way. It's not my favorite way. There we go. Why not? Why not build a harbor? Um, there's probably a ton of reasons, but I'm not asking that question in good faith. Eiffel Tower. Come in here. Drop scripture, even though it's really, really good. I don't need it. I would rather have skyscrapers. Chop. Chop. Go for... Canticle is honestly redundant, right? Do you think Reyna should be in this city? Do you really think so? This is where Pingala is because of the curator. This is where all my great works are. Do you think Reyna would be worth more? Use governor tool. What, like this? This thing? Nah, I think I'm going to leave her. I'm gonna, like, like, we win. Regardless, in like a very short amount of time. I think I'm going to leave them where they are. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Might be already in your best city because Pingala Pink setup is unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, like, what are you going to do? You can't have everything be super perfectly optimized in, like, every single circumstance. Sometimes you've got to make compromises. How many culture and capital? 77. Couple more builders. Go chop that. Break that. This. Ne oh, wait. This isn't in range of enough stuff. Ah. Of course, pole dancer squiggled down here. It's just out of range of being turned into. That's annoying. I can still do this one, though, at least. But we want big number. Your mom wants a big number. Oh yeah. Uh, big numbers. Start moving Settler next to Hungry for Rock Band Spam. Good idea.
Come on, someone buy my buy my token. For Lupin. Any great work slots free? Not really. And because she was so if facts don't fit the theory, it has been demonstrated. <sighs> Would sh a few temple slots. That's it really. Actually, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I could get a few relics here. Shit, I could have got a few relics here. You can faith by building a shop, pop and a sign, governor. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, it should be fine for loyalty. Ugh. Stretch. Any good great merchants on in the chat? Sukini, Sukini. Did you try, try to see if the AI has any artifacts? I don't have. Uh, I still have to recruit my archaeologists. So we're looking at the city of Pietro Tribunalski. Right, you're in position there. Poznan can go for another naturalist. Who are you? Potatoes. Thanks for the prime. I'm trying to think here. So I'm singing to think out loud. There is a natural park here. National park. Where's plus one movement? Yeah, that'll do. I don't need liberalism anymore. I have all the amenities. What do I need? What do I need? What's a good card here? Honestly, it's probably not that important. I mean, I'm already winning. So and it's only going to be a temporary card anyway. So I may as well just plug this in for a tiny little bit of extra faith. Because in a handful of turns, I will be picking up... this on my communities bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm getting to that point of frustration I have to like recline back and like chill out I'm getting to that frustrating point of the game so we're just gonna chill out where it's like there's a lot of stuff to micro but I've still but I've actually won <laughs> that that frustrating point of the game it's like, oh, I gotta micromanage like 500 million units. Professional sports to improve mountains. Yeah. There's Christo. That's huge. Now our religious tourism is cranking. Um, 59 out of 85. Let's get that zoo for amenities. Although, to be honest with you, most of my cities are already ecstatic, so I don't need the zoo. Maybe I would be better off finishing off more Theatre Square festivals. Art museum done in here. That's good news. Let's go for great works of art. We're going to take all those great works of art and just slap them in to here. Theming, not so important. Yeah, theming isn't important.
get a zoo for amenities dude my capital literally has plus 14 amenities yeah <laughs> true oh i see what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah true I don't need stats, I need tourism. And the way to get tourism here in this particular game is to make faith. You gotta make faith. Do, do, do. Break that. Boom. Bow, bow. Zero campus flight in two turns. Pog. God, this the the secret society's game mode is actually just so busted. Like the fact that I'm making 500 faith per turn, which is being translated into 100 culture and 100 science, is just completely broken. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. Today I learned you can preserve the Dead Sea. Excuse me. It's a one campus, by the way. I have one campus. Where are we? <laughs> Potato is the same. Where are we? Over and over. Sometimes when I'm like stressed out, I have to make like noises that mean nothing because they make me feel chill. Can't can't explain it. It's like a self-soothing noise. I'll just like start to make noise. This is this is how you know you're in the churn, baby. Shit, I misclicked. Um, six turns, sixty-four out of eighty-seven. Man, this guy's gonna take a while to get over there. I feel like I could have optimized this game a lot, but I think it also shows off the power of Miracle Poland. Even if it wasn't super hyper optimized, like it, it did, it had the intended effect, which is to show off how busted Poland is. And honestly, any any faith save really in these game configurations, like they just this is insane. Um, I never made an archer this game. Toss up the turn counter. Your mom turns my counter. Ooh, yeah, we got him. Um, where were we? What's up, Ben? Maybe not where were we? But a bunch of sounds. I'll just make noises. Not necessarily. This is like I don't sit around making where were we noises all day. Okay, this is just that particular noise that I've chosen for today. So we have flight. That's good. We have cold war. So we can start making rock bands. Computers, four turn computer tech, come on check, no, one campus, one campus, two campuses technically because I have Birmingham, uh, sure, Armada, I just like shipyards, okay, let me have that. He thinks I'm going to win the game. I think the AI now thinks I'm going to win the game, so they won't give me any of the great works. Yeah, okay. So, trading for great works is now disabled, essentially, for me, for you. Um, Got to be a national park in here somewhere, eh? A. Hey. Uh, 
What are you doing with your time? Why aren't you making memes? You could be a meme king. Uh huh. There we go. Uh, I dare you to spell buy goods. You mean say it? Did you mean say it? My, I never built a range unit this game. My city shot is literally like three strat. Like if I were to come in here, what could I buy? You're a big guy. For you. Settler's not worth waiting for. Should have just been. Should have. It should have been there. Go rock bounds and other people like England. Mm. I win in seven turns. Twenty turns. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. When you're right, you're right. You can buy the camp tile? Bro, my empire has like 8,000 tiles. Why would you... Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Basically, it's the gist of that sentence. Uh, after this game, could you give us a refresh on Tourism, National Park, Seaside Resorts, Ski Resorts, and Rock Bands? Sure, remind me after the game. And I'll do a little breakdown for you. Where are we? This just is, like, it's interesting because this just isn't, like, my style of play. But it is an interesting way to play. Um, I don't really like to... I, I'm not really that enamored with optimizing like how many turns it takes to win a game, personally. Wonder Tiles... Has he lost his mind in the churn yet? Yeah, we're, we're coming out of the churn because we're about to end the game. It's like at the cusp of victory. So don't you worry. 70 out of 90. So hopefully England actually made wonders. Um, Sure. Uh, I'm running out of things to do with my builders and it's becoming... Do you know what the frustration is? I just don't find it fine to multi... -ta I don't find it uh, super fun to micromanage all these builders. Now you win at 700 tourism. 20 turns soon. Your culture fix are usually 2k tourism something when you win. My game is just over. Yeah, but that's... I, I like playing into the late game. You know what I mean? In like a slow, methodical, efficient way rather than... or. Well, I guess some people would say it's inefficient, but like in a very sort of building up for a super explosive late game where some people prefer to play um, like win in the shortest number of turns. I like to play that like long, 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 long style. Um, it's just my preferred way to play. What's the second favorite of 4X game? Probably, I don't know, I really like Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. I really like Master Magic. You're asking me... You're asking me to rank things. Ranking things is hard. Because how where I would rank them probably changes based on how I feel on the day. And he dies. Oh, he lives. And he dies. Nice. Uh, like, I think when I was new to save, I think I tried 10 times to reach a sub-200 science victory and I learned a lot from it. I suppose... I mean, technically... 
as the like biggest YouTuber in Civ, I probably should be trying to optimize it, but that's just not how I enjoy playing. Like I, I, I like playing the game kind of in a silly, a silly kind of way rather than like super optimal giga optimizing. I mean, that is fun, but it just doesn't have that same appeal for me. I like playing the game, if that makes sense, rather than trying to hyper optimize. For me, there's still a oh, there's always like still a little bit of role play element to the game. Well, well, I say role play, but just like I'm just chilling. I'm being chilling. Play how you want. Yeah. Did I refer to the 500 messages he sent me once, asking me to play the way you want me to? Change your tune very quick, there, buddy. Let's talk about it. Um, sure. There's other YouTubers that like to optimize, like Bose. Honestly, good on Bose. If he's a chop optimizer. I mean... <clears throat> uh, pretty unproductive city, but interesting, especially with the gratuitous yields. I don't know. Uh, I need to renew my open borders. You could do like a stress game where you play Super Giga Chat, optimize, try to win less turns as possible. And the next series could be a camp series. We do the stories. It's act. It's just that. Um, I mean, I could do that. My, my problem is uh, if I play a game too sweaty, it kind of takes the fun out of it for me. Like, if I'm too sweaty, I can do bursts of sweatiness, like, today, a little bit, I did, I played, a, like, I, I can do sweaty in the first, like, two to three eras, and then after that, I just, I, I, I chill, because most of, like, Civ is setting yourself up for a good game, and then I can be like, alright, I, I did really, really well, and now I can relax, I don't know, that's how, kind of how, how I think about it, I guess, if I'm, like, analyzing... You don't, you don't need to follow my tips. I'm just making fun of you. You're good. I, 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 if I if I step too far, I'm making fun of you there. My bad. I was just I was doing gentle bullying. I apologize. Sorry. My bad. I was uh, just joking around with you, buddy. Save that optimization for multiplayer. In a multiplayer game, if it's like an actual competitive environment, yeah, I'd probably be more willing to do it. We be toxic reminds me of the talk. <laughs> I'll be toxic. I live for, for toxicity. Nice, nice, nice. Winning, winning in two turns. Based. Based in probability. Have I missed a miracle? The whole game was a miracle, dude. I have 500 faith per turn and that's being converted into science. Seaside Resort, Pog. Any Pogs in chat for Seaside Resorts? Not one Pog, wow. Are you going to do another game, something after this, maybe Free For All Pog? Ha, uh, Joe Russell, I eat sports too. Um, no, I'm going to go get dinner. It's like 8 p.m., four hour stream. It's like a good L stream. I, I would, I, I prefer to like play the long haul, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe one day we'll get the multi save, game to save per day. Just like trade with anyone, literally anyone. There's the Eiffel. Could have chopped that out better, to be honest with you. Could have done a lot of things better this game. But it was like a still a really like decent game. Let's get this all fired off. I think that's the win. No, I need another turn. Uh-huh.
Like I've always known in the back of my head that I should play the game at like a quote unquote higher level because of my reputation of being like one of the best Civ players. But, but, maybe it's more fun for the community if I'm like seen as really good and then they get to be better than me. James, when you leave, please consider Michael. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll totally, I'll, I'll be happy to host, host Michael. What's he, what's he streaming right now? Don't call me James. I'm potato to you, okay? <gasps> ah! I'm just joking. Don't take it seriously. The worth of a culture. Giga Chad! Miracle Poland is complete. The four hour game, not bad. Last, and how they are remembered. Are you going to do a Congo game soonish? I never know what to actually do on that save. No plans to do a Congo game. We'll ensure that our culture stands for all time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Miracle Poland build. Pretty basic faith spammer builds just as Poland. It's kind of fun because you get the really, really cool relics. We'll take a moment here. Lots of buildings constructed, lots of cities, no cities captured, lots of cities founded, no cities lost. Um, lots of districts built, although not as many as I would normally build in my games. We kind of went for a, a more tempo-based games. Not much combat, quite a bit of culture, quite a bit of faith, quite a bit of gold, especially in the late game where I stopped spending it. Quite a bit of science, actually. Unbelievable amounts of science, considering the amount of faith I was making. That's just like churning into science. Insane. Eh, not much war. Of course, total religions founded graph, most important graph. I actually, We actually founded our religion on the same turn as Matthias Corvinus. So he could have sniped this for reliquaries. Um, thank you so much again, once for your help uh, with some of your suggestions throughout this game. Uh, I definitely feel like... I definitely feel like... I need to learn from... Like Civ Six is approaching the end of its life cycle and I really should start becoming a sweat lord in it because it'll make good content. Um... And thank you so much, Wands, for your suggestions and typing in my ear and giving me ideas and stuff. Um, reminder for tourism explanation? Sure. So what was it exact, exactly you wanted to know about tourism? Because I explain this, I explain all this, this all the time. <clears throat> what, what about the tourism victory do you want me to... Overexplained series as a sweat sweat lord. It takes a lot of work to do that. Um, playing sweaty is not so bad, but playing and talking about sweaty. Explain tourism, national parks, ski resorts. Um, what's the next sieve? Load and clear. Uh, I think I might do a generic Poland build where you don't go for reliquaries or crusade nah do you know what that's just I don't need to do that I think I've played Poland three different times I think that's enough uh, best way to stop an AA okay so quick explanations so we want to talk about tourism uh National Parks Ski Resorts uh, Sea Side Resorts and Rock Bands. Sure. Well, these three are all in the same category. This one's in a different category. So when we're going to talk about tourism, um, Raphael, when, you, when you're asking me to explain tourism, maybe pretend if you don't play Sweaty Stream, make a series where I help you in a game and see how fast you get win. That could be actually a fun idea if you want to go jump on voice or something sometime and do that. Um, do you not have a word processor? I prefer to use paint because it's more ghetto and like funny. Well, not ghetto. What's the word I'm looking for? It's more like... Um, Scuffed. That's the word I was looking for.
ghetto is probably not an appropriate word to use anymore that was like a word we used when i was younger um because we watched like a lot of american tv and people would say like probably racist shit like that's so ghetto which is super fucked up in hindsight now that i think about it um but you know um cancelled sure cancel me um Raphael, where did you go? Ghetto isn't racist. Mm. I think the way I used it wasn't, but I think the word itself could be sometimes. Raphael, what do you want to know about tourism? Like... You know, the Irish lived in ghettos in America. Yeah, but that's not the context in which that word is used in today. And it's also not the context in which I learned the use of that word. Raphael, what, what would you like to know about tourism? That's like on the same tier as saying like, you know, the Irish people, they were slaves too. And it's like, yeah, sure. Like technically they were slaves, but they weren't chattel slaves. Those are two diff very different things. Those words have different meanings. Those th th There are connotations and associations with these words that have very, very specific meanings. Um, like when should you build them and when and where to use rock bands? So I actually have a video. Um Hey guys, potato McGlue. This is like an old, old, old video, but it's still applicable. This is rock bands versus naturalists. Um that's the video right there. I just linked it in chat. Has a good expl explainer on it. I probably need to update that tutorial just to make it a little bit a better presentation on it. But um when to use rock bands. So uh we're gonna talk about tourism improvements and then rock bands as two separate categories so basically you should start planting down national parks the second that you unlock them the second that you unlock national parks you should be in um, reformed church and you should be planting down national parks in every single tile that you can and you should do that up until the moment you unlock rock bands then you should spend every single ounce of faith that you have on rock bands and send them to the person in the game who has the highest amount of of domestic tourists in this case it would be matthias corvinus he's who i should have sent my tourist my rock bands against however because i wasn't set up to attack him i just attacked whoever is closest and that's because rock bands um if you imagine the the basic analogy that i'm going to do here things like your national parks and stuff like that they are building your tourism tower okay they are putting bricks on and they are building that tower up and up and up one brick at a time okay if you think of rock bands, these are like your special forces. What I'm trying to do is to build a visiting tourist tower that is taller than Matthias Corvinus's domestic tourist tower. So tile improvements are like me building up this tower, okay? And, and, and slowly stealing bricks from every other person in the game. In this case, domestic tourists are bricks and that's what you're doing when you generate tourism. You're stealing other people's domestic tourists to build a tourism tower. Um, rock bands these are like your special forces they target a specific player so rather than like a na national park does steal tourism to, uh, steal tourism tourists from all other saves rock bands steal only from the save that you use them against which allows you to specifically target a player like matthias corvinus which is very very powerful because simultaneously i'm reducing this number and increasing this number with rock bands but i'm targeting it against a specific player which allows me to win much faster. So that's why rock bands, the second you get them, you need to spend all of your faith on them if you're going for a tourism victory. Um, when it comes to ski resorts, just build them everywhere you can. When it comes to seaside resorts, build them everywhere you can. Make sure you pick up um, the Cristo Redentor 
because it gives 100% tourism from seaside resorts across your civilization and also make sure you pick up the Eiffel Tower because it also adds plus two appeal to your seaside resorts and that actually works together to create these insane, insane tiles. Um, this tile right here is making 16 tourism per turn. A baseline, a baseline um, seaside resort makes four tourism per turn, which is then um, multiplied by 1.5 in the late game tourism modifiers to be six base tourism. Okay, that's your best case scenario. Well, what, that's a good. That's your baseline case scenario for a seaside resort. You might get it up to like six and you might get nine tourism baseline per turn. Um, if you get Crystal Red and Tour plus the uh, Eiffel Tower, that goes up to a baseline of six tourism, okay? But then that also gets doubled by Crystal, which goes up to a baseline of 12 tourism, and then that gets multiplied by 1.5, so it'll go up to a baseline of 16. So if you get Crystal Red and Tour and Eiffel Tower, you literally triple the baseline output of your seaside resorts. It's insane. Super, super powerful. Um, super, super important to do that. But yeah, that's the basic difference between tourism. Any questions? Anything I glossed over or didn't explain very well? Actually, better would be domestic tourists. Do you anything to them, culture? Or do tourism producers improve domestic? In BBG, the late game modifier is 2x. Yeah, in BBG, it's even better. But that's just because people are better at defending culture victories in BBG, right? As someone who grew up in the ghettos, I don't see how it is. I think it depends on who, the context in which the word is used. I can think of a lot of ways that that word could be used in a sort of negative connotation. Matt does not check out. Oh, sorry, 18, not 16. You're right. You're right. Yeah, sorry. I made a Matt's error. Books are majorly reworked. Same goes for art. Yeah, the old, in Civ 6, books books and stuff used to give more tourism, but they had to nerf it. Do you already know what Civ is next? Nope, we're still doing a poll on it. I still also need to do a Poland overview. Um, I can show you that here. So I actually wrote this before I played a single game. Okay, to and then playing the games was testing this overview that I wrote. And more or less, most of what I wrote here is through. It's true. I just need to do a little bit of rewriting. Um, and then I'm going to use the videos of me playing these games as the B-roll for the save overview uh, for Poland. So, um, yeah, I just have to rewrite some of this. I've learned a little bit from playing them. But I, I more or less, I want to say like 80% of what I wrote in here was like pretty spot on. Um, so expect to see... I don't know when the Poland overview is going to come out. I'm working on it. It'll take me a little bit of time. Um, it'll take me, it might take me a while. Are you also going to try BBG on each of the saves you do? The, the problem with BBG, I would like to do a BBG thing, but if I include it in a spotlight, after a couple of years, BBG keeps getting updated every single month, like saves change and stuff like that. It'll be outdated basically the second that I make it. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to reference BBG, like I'm going to reference the overall BBG changes in the overview, but that'll be sort of like, hey, at the current time of this video, BBG also improves Poland. Go check out that mod and the CPL community if you want to play multiplayer. Are you going to play them on stream? Yes. Oh, you want me to play BBG? Yeah, I'll do a BBG game on each of the saves. Sure. Sure. Um, What do Italian ghosts eat for dinner? I don't know. Spook Getty? Jennifer, I swear to God, if I predicted that joke, I hate you. I'm smiling now and I hate you. Potatoes. I hate you. I hate you. A terrible person. Get out of my chat. <laughs> Predicted. Um, thank you so much. Okay, listen, guys. I sat here for four hours and entertained you. I know for a fact there's at least three of you in my chat right now with Twitch Primes you haven't given me. Give me those Twitch Primes. 
uh, YouTube chat. I'll catch you later.